Warning, this podcast may contain spoilers as well as coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, what's up, everyone? We're here with the Our Anime Podcast with some two awesome guests. We're going to be talking about our favorite idol show of all time, Love Live, the the whole franchise. We're not just going to talk about the anime. We're just, we, we got experts here. We got experts. Experts, <laughs> experts on the music, on the lives, even on all the behind-the-scenes stuff. So let's start it off. I'll just go across the list. We have uh, Fate Steel Taylor. Nico Nico ni. <laughs> Sorry. How's it going, everyone? <laughs> not high enough. No, no. Not, not Do you enough. smell what the Nico Nico ni no. is cooking? <laughs> no, it's not. And then we have our friend Gordon. Hello. I'm new here. Yeah, he's he's one of our he's the, this is the first time on this episode, on the podcast, right? Yeah, and I'm, this is kind of like the first time I've ever actually Ooh, yeah. read it too. Very, Welcome. Um, very clean, very clean. And then we got Taku, the the love liver that everyone's heard about except for me. Yes. <laughs> and apparently Lord Takuro, yes. Yes. The ultimate. Now, a little backstory about Taku. Uh, well, let him introduce uh, himself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> true, true, true. True. My yeah, bad, my bad. I'm already, <laughs> I'm so hyped for this episode. Good okay. start. Hey, yo, I'm, I'm Taku. Uh, as Fate's probably going to tell you, I was on his podcast like twice. I'm... <laughs> I like to consider myself the reason he watched Love Live. I, uh, I mean, that's very true. Well, because... <laughs> okay, I, I will say this. When I pitched this episode a couple weeks back, that's what finally pushed Fate to the edge to finally watch Love Live. It so, was a combination of it was more It was more Taku, <laughs> but, you know, Procrastination got to him. And he's like, oh, na- now Taku's going to be very concerned if I'm not on this episode. <laughs> oh, I gotta watch it! Ah! <laughs> two years in the making. Oh, man. That was two years ago. <laughs> So, uh, we actually have the clip thanks to watch, watch Funk Master Bex, uh, thank you, and play the clip. And so, hopefully I won't need to do a contract uh, to watch Love Live because I definitely want to watch it soon. So, yeah, that was, that was great yeah. times. Yeah, great times. <laughs> but yeah, so like, <laughs> yeah, as, as you heard, Taku and I were talking about it and it was just like, I had him on for two episodes, and we're talking about idols, and I was just like, oh, yeah, this was, like, in 2016. I want to say the first one was 2015, and that clip was from 2016, and talking about how I was going to finally watch uh, Love Live for Taku, who's a great guy and just, like, awesome and has made Love Live sound so so interesting. So 2016, (laughs) that was – was that the year of Muse's Final Live, if I remember correctly? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and I was just like, "Oh man, I felt so terrible." But then <laughs> once I knew this podcast was coming out, I started watching it. And you know what? I'm really glad I did. So, two years belated, <laughs> I'm sorry I took so long, Taku, but I Dude. finally did it. So, in a weird way, I had Taku's back without even you knowing did. him. I was hey. just like, dur, dur, "You started dur. my start dash." I I say, <laughs> hey, 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 hey start, we'll get to that later. So, um, I guess we'll start from the semi beginning. Uh, how, how did you guys first hear about Love Live? Um, from from the beginning, how'd you guys get into it? Anyone want to go first? Well, Baker, why don't you go first? Like, oh, oh, thank you. Yeah, ladies first. <laughs> am I right? Wait. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, uh, with me, uh, I saw the memes. I knew who Nico was. It annoyed me. Uh, which is why she's kind of like low on my list. We'll get to that later. And uh, I, I discovered uh, Love Life through a contract with my buddy Mighty A Girl. Shout out to him. Uh, he, I think he was supposed to be on this episode when I first pitched this way back. But sorry, man. Uh, it was around 2016, and I was uh, I decided to watch it under contract. I said, "Hey, Eggy, I'll watch Love Life if you watch Girls and Panzer." And he's like, "Oh, deal." So I was watching Love Live, and right off the bat, I was thinking, this is weird. A school idol. Uh, is this a tournament arc for school idols? Uh, do, you guys get, <laughs> do you guys get paid for this? You guys are a little too gung-ho about this. So I wasn't really feeling the concept, but the girls were great. I'm like, okay, school idols, that's just weird to me, because if I saw that in real life, that's just, oh, you think you're so cool, singing, dancing. But <laughs> wow. Okay. But then I decided, <laughs> right. so fast forward, I decided to power through the first two seasons because at anime expo 2016 there was a love live event but it was just aqua aqua was being featured for the first time mm-hmm. not all the members were there though it was just like i think it was all the first years and second years so for some reason i'm like oh i should power through muse 
just so I could like understand where Aqua is coming from. I didn't really have yeah. it all down. I was a little confused. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, okay. So I went to this event. And I thought they were going to perform their music because I was hyped. I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to hear Aqua's music for the first time. And I'm going to feel so much more emotion because I understand Muse. All they did, and I'm sorry for this because I'm a bigger fan of Aqua now. But we went there, sat down, and they just introduced the characters like, oh, hey, I'm Chica this. I'm Rico this. And like they actually ended up mixing them up on accident because behind them was a picture of the girl and their introduction and they ended up mixing them up wrong like one girl had the wrong girl <laughs> behind her so everyone uh-huh. started laughing at her and it was just funny they're like oh my god that's not her she's actually someone else then they showed the first episode of sunshine and then they just interviewed them with the most broken interview editor and i ended up leaving <laughs> early i was like this is whack and i left <laughs> <laughs> and i was just like yeah whatever Rip. and then and then uh fast forward sunshine started airing i'm like okay i didn't watch sunshine till two weeks after ax 2017 so i powered through that and then I started listening to their music, fell in love with their music because it's so good. And then I saw them live at AX 2017 Animatsuri. And they only did four songs. They did their opening song, Aquarium, uh, the Omoyo. No, no, not that one. They did a, uh, what was the one when they're out in the sunshine? Like, what's the one? What's that one called? I don't know the words. Uh, Kimi something. Kimi no Kokoro something. They did that yeah. and then they did their ending theme. And that's what sealed it. I'm like, I'm a huge fan of Sunshine, Aqua. I love them to death. And here I am now, $300 into their merchandise, listening to their music every day as I work out. That there was actually go. that's actually a much lower estimate than I would have guessed for how much you had spent on their merch. Uh, uh, like, merchan- sh- merchandise to me is very hard to get, but like I want the hundred, I want the two hundred dollar giant Nesso the tarot oh. jumbo. I want that. I want that. But dude, that's I got Grail. I got car payments, bro. <laughs> that's dude, and your car, and your car is banging, man. It your is. Car is great. My car is amazing. Yeah, as as the it entire po- as the entire podcast crew agrees. It's, it's, we it's, need a it's, shirt. It's, it's about yes. your car. About your car. <laughs> but yeah, uh, your guys' turn. So that's my story of how I fell into Idle Hell with Love Live. So yeah. Fate. Oh, we already heard yeah. Fate. No, we already <laughs> yeah. heard, we already heard yeah, your story. Let's, let's, we already, yeah. yeah, we already talked about Fate. Okay, let's, let's, go to, let's go to G now, uh, Gordon. Oh, me? All right. Yeah. Um, let's see. I actually started with Love Live when a friend introduced me to the app. Uh, to go idol festival. Oh, oh I've, I I love stories like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because um, she was a good friend. She knows that I love rhythm games, so she introduced it to me, and I picked it up, played some uh, game. But it's a super fun game. I loved her music. Yeah. Uh, the one song that actually got me really hooked on it, though, was. Actually, it's a mixture of Snow Halation and Wonderful War- uh, Rush. Hey. And that sold me. So I kind of went on YouTube, like any other sane person, look up what is Love Live. And was just kind of watching the old music videos of Snow Halation, Wonderful Which Rush. Which is how it's, that's how the whole Love Live franchise started, right? It was through their music and just their promotion videos. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, I should say what year. I believe it's around 2015. Oh god, season veteran. I got into the game. Mhm. He's an oldie. So, <laughs> whoa. Kind of oldie. Kind of oldie. Not uh, not the OG because, oldie. Yeah. Not the OG oldie. Cuz the second season was about to end. And when I learned they had an anime, started watching that. Uh definitely love Muse. Uh, love their songs, love the seiyus, uh, as I keep on going, diving deeper and deeper into uh, and this uh, franchise that. called Love Live. I don't know. And how? I don't know. And how much money? I was just knocking you? on the door. <laughs> and how much money have you I was offered? literally, <laughs> I'll get to that at the very end, but. Uh, oh, okay. What? Yeah, but after that, when. I actually watched the movie, and that was it, because that was the end. I heard about the final live. I didn't get the chance to see it, but I was like, oh, well, that's it for Love Live, I guess. Here comes the same friend. She comes like, hey, have you heard about uh, Sunshine? Oh. Sunshine. <laughs> and all of a sudden, user video, uh, 
Aquarium. Showed me that. Uh, not Aquarium. It was during the teaser of 2016 when they teased um, Aqua for the first time. Oh. Damn. And, mm-hmm. and I think this is where it actually started for me going down the plunge, going through that toilet bowl. Of all that money going down the toilet bowl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. But pretty much I'm stuck in here. I have to <laughs> dive way deep inside uh, the franchise. Definitely love uh, Love Live. Aqua has definitely been a great uh, group. So so me. far, man. Hey, they're they're like yeah. she's still going now. So but so far, it's 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 great. Yeah, but I'll probably save that story a little bit later. But oh yeah 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 yeah. Sure. Pretty much that's how it kind of all started from the School Idol Festival app and ended with the present day. Dude, I, I like I like those stories where it was just a game and you're like, wait, there's more than these stories. There's more. <laughs> Which by the I'm way, Fate, was... by the way, Fate, you should get on the game, you know? No, yeah. see, I'm already in gotcha hell with Fate Grand Order. Like I cannot get sucked into <laughs> uh, <laughs> I as see well. you're a man of culture. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Thank yeah, you. yeah. G plays Fate Grand Order too. Nice. Well, nice, nice, I play nice. a lot of MOBA games. The one I'm actually into is Fire Emblem Heroes, but yeah. uh F E H. Very nice, very nice. Yep. Oh A-F-A. god, yeah. <laughs> but, and how yeah. about you, Taku? Yeah, yeah. That's... You... Yeah, yeah. V. So like, it was when I first got into Love Live. It was like a super slow burn. It was actually about <laughs> three years ago, and I got into it in about the most random way possible. I was like kind of starting to get into anime then, and I always went to. Uh, the the what have you watched in the past week that's not currently airing threads on oh. our anime yeah and i check those out thread. all the time i think that was like right after i watched like yuki yuna so i was looking through to see what people said about that uh-huh and i found this one random guy don't remember who it was shout out to whoever you were i don't know <laughs> who you were but like they were Hugely talking about how they watched love live yeah. and they used the the one nico hart comment face and I literally, I just thought, hey, this girl's cute. What's she from? Let's watch that. <laughs> oh, hey. okay. Yeah, hey, nice, I, nice, nice. I watched I, that, and then, like, I only watched the first season at the time, because I didn't get, like, super into it then. Then, like, two months later, I think, I watched the second season. Started uh-huh. started buying a little bit of merch. Oh. And then, then I went to a con in, like, October and spent probably... A, probably like $500 on Love Live stuff, and that was when I Damn. sank into, into Idle Hell. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, so question. Was that just influenced from the anime alone, or did you find the music before you spent that much? Or the game, like Sif. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, did you like get in the game at one point? Because that's a big jump from just watching anime to spending $500 on I anime. started playing the game maybe like a month after I watched the anime. I was just like, oh, there's a game for it. I'll check it out. And like, I was a little bit into the music, but, like, I had a lot of disposable income at the time, and I'm an absolute <laughs> sucker for merch. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I, I, I hate when that happens, when I have extra money. It sucks, it's, I know. It's like, I could totally spend this. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> mm-hmm. Dude, that's crazy, I mean, man. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the most of, like, how I got into it. Mm-hmm. So that was just, it just started off a picture. Because with me, I think the first picture of any Love Like Girl I saw was the Kotori photobomb. It just oh, looked- the, the face. Oh. I love I, that classic. picture. Honestly, I think the first Love Like picture I saw was the Joe Biden meme. Oh, oh, with the Umi? Yes, yes, yes. I remember that. Oh, no, yeah, it's the one of him, like, oh creeping on the Love Live girls and, like, like giving like, them, like, weird shoulder massages. Like, like, Umi's hair is being sniffed by Joe Biden. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was my first exposure to Love Live. I love it. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, goodness. which is why I didn't watch it for so long. Because I had, I think this wasn't too long after I... Because I think I had Taco on the podcast about idols soon after I had finished Idol Master 2011. Hmm. So uh, I was just uh, like, maybe one idol show is good enough for me. 
<laughs> okay, so <laughs> so let me hear from you then, because I have yet mm-hmm. to watch all the Idol Master. I don't hate Idol Master, but I've been told that like, oh, they're the ones that started the whole Idol craze. Uh, which which do you prefer? Ooh, so I mm, I wonder if they did start the Idol craze because I mean they did. I mean, That's the what anime I'm told. Did, the anime did come out before uh, Love Live, but if. I'm pretty sure, like, as popular as Love Live was, it never reached the heights of uh, Love Live, even though IMAS was, like, very popular. Yeah. For me, I think it's two different kinds of franchises. I think one of the biggest differences is that Love Live uh, started off canonically as a game, where it's kind of, like, almost like a dating sim, because, like, you're playing as the producer, who's like a guy and like yeah. you're trying to get like the idols to like perform well like well, from their perspective th- that's my argument when it comes to cinderella girls when mm. people say that they prefer cinderella girls i'm like dude straight up it's a self insert right. who wants who here <laughs> wants to be producer son right. raise your hand right. in love live in the world of love live no guys exist except for right. honoka's dad <laughs> and uh, that face is never shown oh but he is best <laughs> best girl out of all of Dude, love life like, was, when he tears up when he tears up that gets me <laughs> yeah. she's so supportive of honoka you have to like yeah. she's how about in the movie when he breaks up the light sticks oh, oh, my God. oh yeah yes. that's the See, greatest but like i think i haven't seen cinderella girls but from everything i've been told like the first idol master which was actually done by a lot of gynex expats who had like left oh. gynex after doing panty stocking and starter stocking. belt yeah, 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 and they were mm. like kind of in, so like a lot of the same creative staff behind like Gurren Logan and Die Buster and the people who would eventually go on to make uh, Trigger mm. uh, were a part of that staff. I remember like Imaishi did like one of the skits, like he wrote one of the skits in Idolmaster 2011, huh. uh, and that didn't feel as self inserty. In fact, it kind of felt like more of a realistic take on the idol industry. I don't know, so like of course it was like very much. Uh, like fantasized and like fictionalized. But I think it, I think that's a cool more thing. Human and personal, yeah. That that's a cool thing about Idol Master because it is kind of a more realistic look. Because again, mm-hmm. the whole love live. Oh, we need to win love live and live to save our school. To save our school. <laughs> like that was so cheesy to me. Uh-huh. But I, like I was girls, so much yeah, more invested like, into the characters. The characters mm-hmm. is what makes it. So it's also different because like Idol Master has like a lot of episodes that are so most of the episodes are one offs and they like follow one of the girls throughout her day or like a story arc and then oh. they have three of them that have like a little bit more of a far reaching story arc like Miki, Chahaya, and not Honoka. Uh gosh, um, her name also Yeah. He who? Mm, it it starts with a H as well, which is uh, why it Haruka? always No not, uh, not that. But anyway, uh, but you yeah, mean Umi, like... right? <laughs> no, uh, da, da, da. go on, go on. Yeah, yeah, Haru- we, we yeah, Haruka, Haruka. Right. Yeah, but uh, mm. like, so I don't master, I think I actually preferred more like from as an anime slash storytelling standpoint. Uh, but in general, like, I think Love Life very much succeeded in being waifu bait in a sense, uh, and like doing like a really good job of like selling. Like, I mean, it's really on another scale, like, well, from merchandising and Blu-ray sales oh, man. and concerts. Like, when you it's... look at the music, you look at the mm-hmm. music, and, like, uh, it's all about love, doing your best. And it feels like they're singing to you, obviously. If you remember the I one mean, song. I mean, Cutie Panther is. <laughs> oh, is oh never... Cutie Panther. She's like, oh. they're coming after you. I'm just like, yeah, you say that are. like that's a bad thing. No. And... <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, I think overall I'd say, like, Idolmaster is better like for me, I thought it was a more well written, tighter storyline, plot line okay. developed anime. But like Love Life was very much enjoyable. Like I really enjoyed my time with the first uh iteration of it. Hmm. Have you noticed so. that oh you probably so since you don't play the the rhythm game, going off of the whole like how they're really a good at marketing to us like weebs, is that when you <laughs> when you play through the story in School Idol Festival Mm-hmm. Which um you know you go you you basically find out more like moments throughout their day like oh we gotta do this we gotta do that you're with the crew for uh-huh. Aqua and Muse, a lot of the side stories which is stories with the individual girls they're talking to you and the things they say are like <laughs> uh, like it's it's obvious crap like oh I'm so glad you're here I want to spend more time with you or like I got these chocolates for you 
don't think that it's like weird and she's like oh i wish i could be with you forever each individual girl is like wanting you regard yeah. and the thing i love most about it it's it, regardless if you're a guy or girl they don't say like him or her which so it's like oh you're trying to get everyone in the fan base good on you <laughs> i'm falling for it every time <laughs> I mean, uh, it I it's an older poll, but I remember seeing a graphic from 2015 that showed like the largest fan base in Japan of Love Live fans is the de- largest demographic is like girls from ages like 15 to 19. I could believe that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is quite that impressive. Is for because I think another thing is it doesn't have. I mean, there are definitely moments of male gaze, like the shot of Ellie's oh. butt as she's running through Central Park. Oh. Which, shout out to New York, by the way. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Dude. West Coast, dude. baby. Dude, no. no. Okay, by the way, if they're going to do the... If they did the first movie in New York, yo, they're coming to the West Coast. Aqua's going to come to the West oh, Coast. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> they probably got true. It. They got it. Because, I... hint, they performed here. In, uh, they performed in LA, you know? That's so. true. That'd be cool. Should go It'd be to fun. I just want to see all the first years get lost in the ghetto. Like, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Ask that man I mean, there. That, that's kind of happened. What with uh with the first Love Life movie? No, right? exactly. They, exactly. When they, they, they went yeah. down to like really run down parts of New York, like like Umi, Umi, Ellie, and yeah. What's oh, the three? last one? Uh, no, I can't remember. It was, no, it was Rin. It was Rin. It, it was, was Rin. Rin. Yeah. 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 Oh man, like. I loved the fact that they went to New York, but also I was really mad because, like, I knew all the subway stops they were at. And the one where uh, Honoka gets out and, like, she's, like, at Times Square, she is, that staircase leads to the world's largest Applebee's. And I love. <laughs> That's so random. What? I love Applebee's. And as she started to come out, because that's where the one train, like where Times Square is, I was like, "Oh shoot, she's gonna be by like the world's largest Applebee's." Give me that and Applebee's she cameo. <laughs> she wasn't. She was like by a bunch of diners. I was like, "You can't do this to me." It was actually 50th Street. Sorry, sorry, but like, uh, killing oh me, goodness. killing me. I need that's, my Applebee's. That's the dumbest connection I've ever seen. <laughs> But it was crazy. Like I was yeah, like, yeah. "Oh, they're at Grand Central, like where the hotel is." Like it was, it was pretty cool. Uh, mm-hmm. And then it was nice because I was talking. I was like, "Oh, like you never really see like many people in anime go to New York City." Yeah. Like a lot of them, if they go to America, they go to like either the Wild West or like L.A. West Coast, that kind of thing. Or so something like stereotypical to America, obviously. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But mm-hmm. uh. It was nice for them to go to New York City, and then like Pop Team Epic also gave a shout out to New York City. <laughs> I <laughs> get to week after yeah, I saw that's it. To know. That's good yeah. to know. Okay, so yeah. let, let's let's probably get like the let's start with just the Q and A of just the entire franchise. All right, mm-hmm. Aqua or Muse? Who wants to start? Muse, one hundred percent. It's not even a question to me. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Have you finished all of Sunshine? I have. Okay, just making sure. Just last, just last night, you're like, "Hey, I'm at the part where your profile pic is." I'm like, yeah, you're, no. you're kind of far, dude. You're kind of far. You better hurry up, dude. I had to cram it. Like it was nice, but I think I just enjoyed the ride of Love Live, the first one more. Mm-hmm. And like, it felt like a lot of sunshine was dedicated to like being like, "Hey, by the way, we're not the old Love Live we used to be." Uh, and also, uh, like, I enough. just, I think one of the biggest reasons is I just completely fell in love with Eddie. Uh, from the original Love Life to like, in Muse. a way, yeah, in Muse. Muse. In a way, I haven't fallen for a character in a very long time. Like, Aww. before, mm, Horosho. like mm. as soon as Horosho, like as soon as the series ended, I bought the altar uh, figure, the Maid Cafe version of the oh my God figure. No, wait, wow. you did? Oh, goodness, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's literally right in front of me right now. It is one of the most gorgeous figures I have. And I also bought, like, her solo album CD. Oh, my God. Like, what did you do these man. last two weeks? <laughs> Dude, me. You just started watching two weeks and you're already <laughs> dropping money. Oh Yo, I was just like, I love Eddie so much. Like, and those altar figures are super expensive. They're they... super expensive, my dude. Oh, my okay. goodness. Thankfully, oh my Tokyo God. Otaku Mode had, like, a huge sale going on. And I buy so many figures from them that I had a lot of like Tom points uh, stored up. Shout out to Tom uh, for getting it to me so quickly. But, sponsor yeah. us. Please sponsor us. Please sponsor <laughs> us. I already spent sponsor. so much on your site. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, no, like it is absolutely gorgeous. All and right. like, yeah. So so, I'd, so he's his so Muse. Muse. Definitely Muse. Okay. Uh, 
Let's go to G. Uh, for me, Aqua. Okay. Ooh. And why I say that is it's a little sentimental. It's because I actually started from the very beginning. Like, when they started, I actually walked their path. I actually saw them grow from the very start, mm-hmm. from the teaser till the present day. Mm-hmm. So right. I just had more of that connection to them. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, like, for Muse, I kind of started towards the end. I still love them, but oh, yeah. I just didn't grow, mm-hmm. like, grow with them. I right. did not see them like, I, rise I, from nothing I, till where right, they are okay. today. Uh, I'll I'll get this out of the way then. Uh, basically, I'm Aqua as well, and that is the exact same reason how I feel, uh, mm. G. Because again, yeah, I, I I walked into Love Live after the final live, so I wasn't there to feel the emotion of this is it, we're out of here, guys. Thanks for the ride. I did watch parts of the final live. Um, I'm still watching right now because it's like what, like four hours. I'm like three wow. hours. I'm three hours in, and I was getting tired. I was like, "Damn, man! Like you, you guys are <laughs> tough." But uh, I, it was emotional, especially when Kotori's voice actor was kind of like when she get choked up at her introduction. Oh no! Oh, yeah, because yeah. she lost her voice in the second day. Yeah, I know. Oh my god! Like so that that did hurt me. I was like, "Oh well, like I'm witness," but it doesn't hurt as much as the people who started them at the beginning. Because dude, it's an old franchise. It's like 2012. Is when their first PV came out or something like that, or 2011. Earlier than May that, I think it was like magazine. 2010. I just remember I was in high school. <laughs> Dang, yeah. They all it's... started from a magazine. Yeah. yeah, and so that's why with me, I was the same thing. I saw the Aqua teaser and I was like, oh, cool, there's still more to go. And again, like I saw them live, that sealed it. I'm like, you guys are amazing. Uh, all that stuff, and if you want me to mention their music, I'll, I'll bold statement: I like Aqua's music more than Muse. Just gonna say that. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, I'm gonna say Ooh. it right there. So that's mm. the first controversial have, thing. So we're gonna have some words about that. All right, Taku, Taku, hurry, defuse the situation. Uh, I got my own thoughts about both music, but like, I guess we're gonna have an even split because I am fully, fully Muse, absolutely. Like, right. I came into it just Taku, at I knew the right you were my time. Favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Hell yeah. Me I, I and G in... share a bond right now. <laughs> we did share a bond. Yeah. Me... I came in at like just the right time of when like there was all the hype around the School Idol movie. And then I was like fully into it by the time everything with the final live was coming up. So it was just really good timing for me to just be sold as a Muse fan. Mm-hmm. And I've, I've, I have watched the final live in its entirety, I think actually twice. Well, they're two. And mm-hmm. Day one, day two. First and second day, yeah. Second it's day. really hard when you get like <laughs> towards the very end of it. Dude, well, that's oh, the thing. I'm very envious of your experience because I can only imagine what you were feeling when that was that was technically it. Like, you got the full package right there. Yeah, it was something. It was yeah. definitely an experience. Like, uh, to, to say that they left it all out there was would be an understatement. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... Yo, that last snow halation, though... <sighs> Oh my goodness. Dude, like the, the, or- whole, the, the sea- orange, the orange. Oh my gosh. Chills. Dude. And just everything's orange. Oh and I'm gosh. like, yo. You Wait, guys. Honoka solo? Yeah. Mm, Honoka. Yo, dude. like, honestly, though, like, I think one of the reasons why I liked OG more than Muse is because I felt so much more emotionally tied. And maybe that's because I had a favorite oh, character bro. in Eddie. Uh, and like I don't really have a favorite in Sunshine. Maybe Kanan uh, is up there. Mm, mm, but, good man. Mm, good <laughs> thank you, thank you. Mm, mm. Uh, like but but like when Snow Elation <laughs> played, and like that whole episode in the Muse version where they have like the whole snowstorm and like the entire school helps them, like yeah, uh, to clear. I was like choking up, and then when Snow like that was the first time I ever heard. Snow Elation actually, like I never heard it. Oh, when I when when I heard that song, I was like, this is really good on its own yeah like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. i was just like this is so good and so like i just became a lot more emotionally invested and then like the ed really got to me uh mm. and like rin doing the maracas was also great <laughs> that, was, that was cute that was very cute <laughs> they're all singing and i'm just like rin sing <laughs> doing the maracas <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, oh! Uh, in connection to like really good songs from Muse, since we're started with we're in this conversation now. Oh, um, Muse's final song when they're in that little flower, 
Mm-hmm. I know, I know everyone, every, every person that's a fan of that song loves how their first names are used in the song. Oh, yeah, no, that's yes. really fun. I noticed yes. that, and it was really fun. Dude, like, yeah. a- every time I'm working at work, I'm just, like, mumbling to us, like, ah, uh, honoka, uh, uh, nozomi, <laughs> nozomi, <laughs> ni, go, ne, 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 yeah, I'm just, like, I hope, I hope Aqua does the same thing. Uh-huh. I don't, I'll, I'll oh, in their movie? Sound. In their movie, which will take uh-huh. place in L.A. <laughs> or make, prediction or make prediction? me super make me super happy doing seattle since you're near water mm, we're near hey. water <coughs> no, uh, um, hey I say, they uh, always Hawaii? say umi's first name in love life sunshine <laughs> i'll, I'll, I'll know what you're <laughs> <doing. laughs> <laughs> okay so um all right let's, let's move forward with this so let's look at some of the minor uh things in both love life universes mm-hmm. so so, what do you guys think of A Rise and Saint Snow? Yo, A Rise is so great. Like they got jobbed, to be honest. I wow. <laughs> like they they should have like Party Shocking Party is so much better than anything that Muse had put out to that point. Whoa, like, really? Whoa, wait, wait, wait. oh my yeah. goodness! Party Shocking Party and a uh, Private Wars, like <sighs> fire, fire stuff. Fuego. Fuego. Well, what, yeah, what, what about you guys? Like A Rise, Saint Snow. Like, what's your opinion on that? Ooh. Um, I want a recount of the votes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is actually kind of hard because oh, there was a collusion with the uh, Cinderella girls. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> there was no collusion. What are you talking about? Mm, right, right, right. Sorry. Go, go on, G. Saint Snow. Saint Snow. Saint Snow. Ooh. Only because really. Ah, uh, during the uh, second season of Love, Light, Sunshine, that really clenched it. Mm. You're going based just on like what their they story. Did on the story. Me, I'm okay. I'm I'm very split. As an A Rise, better characters in terms mm-hmm. of being a rival to Muse. Mm-hmm. Their songs, dope. Fuego, okay. But Saint Snow, way better music. Their story, Ooh, mm. their their story with Aqua, I did not like. Except towards the end, the end of season two, because season yeah, one like, they're just like, "Yo, yeah. we're better than you. Get out of here!" And then they don't even. Cry. Yeah, they don't even show up. They're like, "Hi, I we're saying snow." Like, what? And then Hi. season two, they actually like, you know, that was really cool what they did, like in terms of helping them out. Mm-hmm. But and and they're getting more attention now. I aren't they going to be in the next live? Saying snow. Yeah, they're like uh, a mini not live. In the next think. live. Really? Hot mm-hmm. day. It's a separate live where it's going to be subunits. See, I, oh. I, I wish they did that for Air Eyes. Did Air Eyes did get any airtime on their lives? Thank nope. you. Thank you. Nope. I want A Rise to be in a live, but that's why it had to go to Saint Snow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's, that's fair. Yeah. Because I, I do like A Rise's music. So, yeah, there's my vote. So, Taku, like, what's. Okay, so, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to toe the line here and say A Rise for their music and also for Tsubasa being, like, one of my favorite side characters from Love Live. Hey. Smith is great. But Saint mm. Snow, I, I I didn't really like their involvement in the first season that much because it same, same. they were there for like an episode or two and then they just weren't. Yeah. Sarah I'm hit or miss on, but Leah is the Ruby Leah arc is like one of my favorite things to come out of the Love Live franchise. It was so adorable. Finally Ruby got airtime. I know. That, and... that arc like, <laughs> Gamba Ruby. Gamba Ruby. Gamba Ruby. Oh man, that's the only time you hear me say that. I, I agree <laughs> with that. I agree with that. But the thing, the thing was, is that they had the opportunity to. I thought it was just gonna be Ruby and Leia just performing together. When they brought everyone together, that was yeah, great. that was amazing. Like I hope yeah. they do that the future lives. Can I just say it? What? Awaken the power, best song. <laughs> oh, best, best. song. Song. Song out, of the, out of the whole franchise mm. or out of the song? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 not in the franchise. Not in the franchise. Not in the franchise. That's not the best franchise. song in Love Life Sunshine. Okay, so. That's not yeah. the best. <laughs> okay, we'll go to best best favorite songs. I love this part. Best favorite songs in Aqua. Oh, just Aqua. <sighs> just Aqua? Just Aqua? Uh, just Day- Daydream Aqua. Warrior. Daydream Warrior is my PR song. I've deadlifted over 400 to that song. That's my final song on my run. That's I, uh. That's to hype me up. Make me feel good. Kanan's line, Kanan's line mm. in that song just hypes me up. So that's my favorite with 
Mirai Ticket and there's one other name I don't know. But th- those are my favorite right it. Now, for Aqua. Okay. I'll be real with you. Like, I only think, like, the only two songs I even know, like, like enough to even have heard more than like the times they were in the show are Ooh. oh the God. ed and happy party Dream. Dream. Well, which which ed yeah first well, season or second? second second season second season oh okay I actually okay. i actually really liked uh when they did the second season ending with the whole school after the school closing festival oh my goodness episode like, what is it episode nine it was either nine or ten uh, no it, it was like 11 i think was 11 it? or 11 or 12? No, I think it was, it was towards I think the end. It was towards the end. Yeah. Wait, I think was, that, was that when Chica was like hallucinating? No, no, no that's no, no, no. no, that's when they do the ET ripoff. Oh, okay, <laughs> no, no, I got no, you. No, they were like the bonfire. <laughs> they were uh, closing the school. Yeah, because I'm like really glad I like the ED enough not to failed. skip it. Yeah. They failed. How dare they? <laughs> but they got they got the flag. They won Love Live, but they failed. They did. Spoiler alert. Which, which, in my opinion, that that ending there. When they were closing down everything, very sad, dragged out. Yeah, I get it. How it's th- sad, but close the damn gate. Hurry up. <laughs> How about you, Taku? Yeah, favorite uh, song, uh, Aqua song. Aqua what are songs. we still? We're still on favorite Aqua song. Okay. Yeah. Um. So like, I usually separate my favorites into like from the main group and then from the trio. Mm-hmm. It's from like the trios. Like, I forgot. I forgot to specify. But go on. Sorry. Yeah, like my favorite from the from the trios, absolutely one hundred percent, Galaxy Hide and Seek. Oh, Celia, mm-hmm. yes. I Amazing adore taste. that song so much. Whew. And it might help that my best girl is the center, but don't worry about that. Mm. <laughs> no. Oh. Mm. Wait, who's your best girl in? <laughs> no, we, 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 can't, we can't get the best girl <laughs> No, okay, 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 okay. okay. We'll, we'll, okay. we'll get there. Okay. Uh, main group. <laughs> main, main group, it's like, it's a toss up between like three songs. Happy Party Train. Happy Party Train. Mijuku Dreamer. Oh. Mm. And Mirai no Bokura wa Shiteru the second season opening. Ah. Also good. That song is hype. When I, first, when, I, when I first saw the opening, and that there's that one scene where they do the two different shots on different corners of the group's dancing, and you see that. Oh, thing. and then go to the middle. Yeah, and the light disappears, and they're all together. That made me go, wow. I was watching oh, that yeah. at work. At work, and I was like, whoa! <laughs> like, what the <laughs> are you watching? I'm like, idol girls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad you told them. I, I, work oh, with two, I work with two other people, and they know I'm a big idol fan. I'm trying to get them to watch Love Live and Girls from Panzer, and they're just like, no. You should watch Made in Abyss. I'm like, old news, bro. Old news. <laughs> oh, by we the way. We already have my, a podcast on that. Hey. hey. <laughs> and my, um, one of my, thir- my third favorite song from uh, Aqua. I found it. Okay. I'm going to butcher it. Welcome. Shoujo Ijo no Ko Gashitai. Oh, the... Uh, <laughs> da, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. I love that song to death. So, um, if we're talking different groups now... Let's go into trios of Aqua now. Actually, wait, can I say yeah, yeah. my songs? I, I'm sorry. If you got to <laughs> wow. cut it out. I'm <laughs> sorry. Wow, how could you? That's not I very thought, love I thought, live of you. I, I thought he said his songs already. Because well, I mean, I only said Awaken the Power. Yeah, that's, that, more like that's hate why. death of you. How dare you? <laughs> okay, go, <laughs> go, go on. But there was a couple other songs. One already mentioned by uh, Taku. Mm. No, not Taku. Awaken Power. Uh, by Fade. Oh. Yes. That's yeah. me. Mm-hmm. The second ending, uh, mm-hmm. Yuki wa doko ni kimi no mune ni. Uh, definitely love that. Uh, it's such a great song. Oh, Literally yeah. just sings out to you, reaches out to you. It's like everything's going to so be inspiring. okay. It's so inspiring, yeah. It is. It's like even if it you is. have a bad day, everything's going to be okay. Oh, yeah. uh, love that. <laughs> and uh, omoi yo hitotsu ni nari. Dude, oh my god, yes. <laughs> Oh, God. That song from the first season, when it first played, I don't know how many times I replayed that song. I love that song to death. Dude, and there's so much more to it, but... Right. Oh, Rikako, man. Dude. Oh, so, Fate, do, you, do you know that story? The Rikako I do incident? not. Uh, I don't know if we should go into it now. Oh, what do you guys think? Uh, I mean... Okay. okay, so the Rikako incident, you know... So have you listened to Omoyo? 
with the piano. That's the one when Rico had to break away from the group to play around. Right, oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, from first season, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, long story short, at the at their first live, they did that. Big surprise! Rikako, the voice actor of Rico, learned how to play piano so she could play oh. piano. Uh-huh. First live, nailed the solo. Second live, she messed up, and she Aww. had a and she had a she had a panic attack. Oh, um, it, that's it's, so sad. And then mm-hmm. they restarted it, which, by the way, they restarted the song, and that's the first time in Love Life history where a show had to come to a stop. Oh, they wow. restarted way too quickly, in my opinion. That's like, really nerve wracking. If you have to it, restart, though, exactly. Mm-hmm. She restarted, and she had to do the and but the entire crowd all pink lightsabers, and they're like, "We got go, we got go," oh. and and so it was. It's it's posted that's, in our uh-huh. it's posted in our thread. You should watch it later. But uh-huh. she nails it the second time, and it oh, that's good. Me, me and G agree. Like that solidified like the power of Aqua. Like they came together and like you could do it, Rico. You got it. You got it. Mm-hmm. And then the fan art of people drawing her and all their arms are touching Rico as she's playing piano. It was, oh, yeah. God, I love that moment so when uh, they called Mari's say you, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. Aina. And she's just like, Daijobu, Daijobu, Zetai yeah. Daijobu. Yeah. Just trying to calm her down. Oh my god. She just pulled out the Car Chums. Captain Sakura line. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like her catchphrase, uh, Zetai, da- daijo- Zetai Daijobu, Daijobu, Daijobu. Like, everything will be all right. Card it's capture like, soccer mm, reference. It's like an, a, I, I guess. I mean, it's an iconic line in shoujo, manga, anime. Uh, and like really Japan get, generally. I should really get around It's very that. good. He also has some quality insert songs. I will. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't okay, know. and lastly, to wrap up the Aqua. Wait, is that all your songs? Yes, I, all my I, songs. I, com- I completely that's cut three. you off by talking about the Rukako incident. But that's the thing. Okay, you'll watch that later. Okay. It, hurt. it hurts you. Sounds heart. good. I'm still, I'm still a Kohai in the idol world. That's fine. Surrounded by you great senpais. I'm a first year. I, I have worry. Ruby. We'll guide you. I need the Gamba Ruby. Damn it, Ruby. <laughs> I, have the just... ga- I have the Gamba Ruby. I'll be Daya and I'll just keep kicking you like, Ruby! <laughs> <laughs> also, can I say that, like, why why is there Ruby and Daya? I thought Hoseki was two seasons ago. Like, what was it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, Gen names. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hardy, okay. hard, hard. Okay. Sorry. Favorite you trio. You can need to get out of here. Oh, oh fuck, oh, dude! I'll horror show my way out. <laughs> I'm I'm done. I'm. Fucking, I'm <laughs> <so done. laughs> okay, so best favorite trio out of Aqua, and then we'll move on to Muse. So you have mm. you have Sierra, Azalea, and Guilty Kiss. Anyone? Just three about- dolphins. What? <laughs> three yes. mermaids. Three mermaids. Sorry. Three, three mermaids. mermaids. <laughs> three mer- God, <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe I forgot about that. The three mermaids. That three is mer- best trio. And then my- seven mermaids. <laughs> for- <laughs> for- god damn it! For me, it's a toss up between Azalea and Guilty Kiss, and I guess I'll choose Guilty Kiss just because I love rock and rolls, like Mari's style of rock and roll. I know she's the driving force behind that group. Mm-hmm. Rock out to Strawberry Trapper. Hell yeah, I love Strawberry Traps music. I don't know. Yes. But that's when you work on your traps. You gotta be like uh, no. Bane from ba- <laughs> Dark Knight Rises. Oh you gotta get those Tom Hardy level traps. <sighs> I, I don't know. I don't know how to segue out of that. <laughs> I was at a loss of work so hard. I was like, please, someone, like, please save me. Like Taku Gordon, please. Just oh off right. Now. Go. So. My favorite trio would be Guilty Kiss. However, I will actually do a special shout out to the summer duo trio of Inferno Phoenix of the Kurosawa Sisters. Oh yeah, that was a yeah. happy party train. That was hmm. mm-hmm. the Kurosawa Sisters uh, trio with uh, I forgot the name of the song. But That's fine. I love their outfits. I love their outfits so much yeah. during that second live. Yeah. Oh, the, the funny oh, thing wait. about that, the funny thing about that is that whenever I see, I saw fan art of Ruby and Daya in those outfits. When Ruby always has her fists together when she's hiding, it reminds me of Hajime no Ippo and she's doing the Dempsey. Role. <laughs> 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 like her, it's it's a great. Every time I see it, I'm like Ruby. That's a great guard, tight guard, keep it peekaboo <laughs> style, just like Mike Tyson. Now get in there, load high. Gotta protect that high. face. Gotta protect yeah. that face. Yeah, protect no that headshots. face. 
She'd make a great boxer, honestly. <laughs> just wait, wait, I'm going to send make a land- picture from the group. But okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, put, put it in the Discord. Um, sounds good. Which, talk, by talk. the way, listeners can join because we have awesome uh, channels for you to join and we're always in. So shout out to the Discord. Yeah, you, go, join us. you can always make fun of our terrible tastes and, and waifus. Okay, Taku. Yes. Favorite, favorite trio or favorite... Like... Favorite trio from uh, <laughs> Aqua? Like... <laughs> I'm sorry. I saw the picture. Keep going, talk. I, I'm curious, but I can wait. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Trio. Becker, Becker, you need to put this picture. Please put this picture. Favorite trio from Aqua. Uh, I, I'm gonna have to go with Azalea, mostly because, like, at some point, every girl in Azalea has been my number one at a different point in time. Wow. What a what a womanizer so many number one girls oh, oh I, <laughs> I, I i switch super often i don't My blame you I, I honestly don't blame you because it's it's in aqua it's hard to choose a best girl just throw it out there muse yeah, it's very, very hard what what, what? Yeah, what i said so yep muse it's very easy for it's, me. yeah i i same there are i'll say it's flat out i know i'm a fan of aqua more than muse aqua's got better girls in Muse. Mm, no. Come at me. Come Preach. at me. No. Let's no, go. We'll get into this later. Except we'll get into for this best later. girl. Hey, let's go. Okay. So, and what about you, uh, Fate? What are your Wait, did Taco, did Taco finish? He just yeah, said Azalea. Okay, I, I didn't know if you wanted to talk about their songs or whatever. Uh, I lit- like I said, I, like, literally two of the songs are memorable to me. And I'll, I, I, mm, I'm not the biggest fan of Aqua. T-P-H. Oh, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. But like, I, it was, I am, I do not regret watching it, <laughs> and like that, the ED funny. was great. Yeah. So like, I don't have as much of a like. You don't I have, have a much of a knowledge. Yeah, I, of I didn't have like a motivation to like follow the trios like I did, in Muse. Like I listened to like everything from BB, for that, instance. That, that's fine because again, you were on a time constraint and like. It's almost like us ordering you to listen to the entire discography of Muse and Aqua in one week, which is tough. There's so much much music. You got the I songs. tried. I, I tried. <laughs> True. Yes. But uh, yeah. oh, okay. So, you guys ready for some Muse music talk? Okay. So who wants to start Absolutely. out? You guys can start out with whatever you want. I'm leading the conversation too much. So like, Muse music go. Like, what do you guys feel? Muse music start. You mean? Music. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, uh, no. How are you talking? Um, I mean, I guess we could start just like we could kind of transition and be like, "What's everyone's favorite Muse trio?" Ooh. And I'll say mine is absolutely BB. BB, no question. Uh, uh, yeah, BB, B- B- no question. I'm sorry. BB is so good. Like sixty six percent of no, it yeah. is absolutely top tier. <laughs> Wait, did we all just agree on BB? <laughs> are we all agree on BB? Yeah. Yeah, BB is great. Like, Kill hey. Panther is such a great song. Odd, odd, Soldier as Game it is. is so good. Whoa, Soldier Game is with Umi. Oh, Soldier Game is, oh, with, Soldier Game is with Eddie and Umi. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. But, yeah. As long, but, uh, along with Storm and Lover, which is also very good. That, is, that mm. is a... I feel like all their music from Muse, they all have such a different taste of like mm-hmm. music around the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a wide variety of styles in Muse. It's, it's got that mar- mariachi kind of feel, like that little like sexual type of like dancing from Brazilians. I don't know. I think of, Brazil- <laughs> I, I think of Brazilian <laughs> girls dancing in my face when I hear Storm and Lover. Like it's... You know what I mean, right? Cutie Panther, though, like I started doing... So like after watching Love Live, I was like, I started going back to the gym and like working out more like I had already started. But like once I started watching Love Live, I was there's like next to the apartment I'm in, uh, there's like these huge set of really steep stairs. And I was like, if these high school girls can run those stairs, I I can can do I can do stairs. friends. And like Cutie Panther is what motivates me like when i'm doing like my third set of like sprinting up these stairs i'm like i mm. yes i am a cutie panther they're <laughs> coming they're coming after you they're coming after you so they're chasing you down and find you do you listen to the rock version of cutie panther or the original uh, original i actually don't know if i have the rock version i, the, to, I gave I it to you it's in there ooh, ooh. Ooh, interesting. I, I like the rock. I like the rock version more. Um, interesting. If we're talking BB music, odd as it is, I love love novels. Love oh my novels. god, that's a love really novels. good song. It's I, a thank great you. song. Thank you. 
I actually, like, I didn't like it at first, but when I watched it performed at, like, the first live, I really appreciated it because it has really good choreography. Right? Thank you. Like, it's it's such a poppy, bubbly song that doesn't really, it doesn't feel like a BB song, honestly. Yeah, it's yeah. very un BB. Yeah. And Fade kind of cover your ears because in the first uh-oh. live, Ellie wasn't there. So, I know, because she hurt her knee or something, right? No, no, no. It wasn't the knee. It was because she was performing for uh, flip side. That yeah. was the actually time. the second live. First live, Ellie was there. Ellie was there? And, yeah. I wouldn't, really? I wouldn't know. See, so, like, I Damn. actually really love Fripside. So I love uh, a certain scientific railgun and a certain scientific railgun S. And Only My Railgun is one of my favorite OPs of all time. So when I found out Eddie also voiced Fripside, I was like, I'm sold. 100% oh, Eddie absolutely. for life. Nice. Damn, it's all coming together. Aren't you glad we got you into this? I <laughs> am, honestly. Like I, like I said, like, I love Eddie. I love Eddie a lot. Like, she... Is so up my alley. Like people know, I love Saber from the Fate series, and like mm-hmm. Eddie is also uh, blonde and prideful and right, super right. cute and awesome. Okay, so good job, good job, Drew. Okay, so damn, time's flying by. Us. So should we just get right into the the rankings now? Oh, well, wait, we we didn't talk about favorite Muse songs or singles. That's true. Uh, uh okay, go. I, 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 I was being mean. I I'm being honestly no. I, I will lot. fight you so hard. No, there there are a lot of to death. there are a lot of Muse songs I like. If you guys want to hear mine, it's uh Shangri La Shower. Mm. Um, is one Ooh. of my one of my favorites. Uh, oh jeez, what was that? What was that other one? Uh, the one that starts with the bass, Tara Makuros. The da 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 like it's 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 one of them with their, all their outfits are all they're all wearing cheerleader outfits. It's that album. Oh uh yeah, Takaramonos. Mm-hmm. Takaramonos. That Fuego. Oh that one, yeah. Fuego. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Help me out, guys. Come on. I, I don't <laughs> yeah, know all this, of them. Let's go. There's a Stunning lot. One. And then yeah. out of all the trios, uh obviously BB's a favorite, love novels. Side note, uh I really like uh Lily White's um Music Ooh. as well. Lily White's oh. really great. Absolutely. Oh, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Jojo Romance or something like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. There's my input. Go. <laughs> oh God. Uh, I'll I'll go. Uh, Snow Halation is honestly like one of my favorite songs. Full stop. Uh, including the amazing remix that has the Space Jam beat. Like, oh behind. my, <laughs> are you freaking? <laughs> Dude, it's so hype. Like, are we memeing? Like, that is my like bench press song. Like I'm just okay. like welcome to the Space Jam. Like with Snow oh Elevation. My oh god. my god! <laughs> okay, there's that. And didn't I send you guys the uh, the how low can oh, you go? Low oh, the how low can you go? Ludicrous by Triple Q. You go. It's so oh, good. good. Very good. So Snow Elevation's up there. Wonderful Rush. Wonderful Rush, also amazing. Damn it! Damn it, Kotri. Pillow. Start dash, start dash, start also dash. good. Uh, but like, I think probably my favorite non like full group one, even including BB, is probably Eri's solo song, the Afureta Kanashimi no Hate. The, mm-hmm. the no, that, that, that's a BB song. They just but have an Ellie thing. They have, yeah, an but Ellie it's thing. only Ellie, right? Oh, you piece of crap! <laughs> <laughs> it's only Eddie. That's why it's great because it doesn't have the thirty per three percent of BB that drags everything. You're down. just happy she's singing to you before Christmas, right? Wow! No, I don't. Like... I don't blame you. <laughs> I got Maki singing to me in Snow Halation. That's fine, dude. Okay, yeah. yo, like I listen, like the old, like I'll listen to the group version of Snow Halation, but usually I just listen to the Ellie solo version. Oh my god, dude! Oh my goodness, you're killing me. I'm gonna bump Ellie down my list just to trigger you. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Oh my god. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, wait. Like, okay, go, Falcu. go Gordon. Falcu, save us. Go. <laughs> go. Anyway. Oh. Okay, I'll go. Uh favorite Muse song, like for the longest time it was Happy Maker, the one from like the very end of season oh, two. Oh yeah. yeah. I love that song, but as soon as I saw the movie there was absolutely nothing that could top Angelic Angel for me. Ah uh, mm-hmm. yes. so good. I love that mm-hmm. performance. Uh, Dude, one of my it's favorite. so good. Yeah. So good. 
It's in yeah. New York. In New York. In New York. <laughs> oh, my God. New York. New- I don't get this. is sad. I'm looking through School Idol Festival just to jog my memory because I blank out these moments. But <laughs> I, I want to say the absolute best song that was not like I don't I don't it Mabel is featured in the, the soundtrack for the movie, but nowhere else in a release. The cover of As Time Goes By from the movie. Oh, yeah, where she's singing mm-hmm. in, the, in the in Times Square, like, on the streets of New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all oh, actually amazing. Future really? Hanukkah. I need to listen to it. Yeah. yeah. I will yeah, link it to you the... after. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. Nice. No, like, nice. news music I could listen to all day. Like, it is great oh, gym same. music. Great gym music. Like, I just feel so motivated. Like... Love Live. How, how like do you Chihaya not Furu, run to Wonderful? Is an intense sports anime. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, the thing is, uh, like I agree because have you ever tried smiling while working out? It's tough. Mm. It's tough. Like this is I, true. What... When they were doing the push up of <laughs> Horika, like this is like Maki, do some push ups now. Smile while doing them. I was like, what? yes, uh, yes. Yeah, smile while you're in pain. <laughs> 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 oh, <my goodness. laughs> uh, uh, G, like, did you say uh, your favorite songs? I can't remember. Oh, no. Um, so, Muse. I We're talking like, Muse oh, heroes. Yeah. For Muse, I feel like a lot of songs have already been said. So, Snow Halation, Wonderful Rush. Um, but one of my favorite ones, I don't know. It's not really well said or well liked, but Kage, uh, Kaguya no Shiro de Odori Tai. Oh, yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah, yeah it yeah, just yeah. had that, that funky, Odin, like, Japanese disco vibe. Mm. I like the sound of that. Yeah, like they're, talking, that they're singing was... about going to a king's castle, and of course all of us are like, I'm that king, you come to my castle. Mm-hmm. All dressed up. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, G, for saying just, <laughs> Yeah, That song just gets me going, just like dancing mm. yo like that's me with snow elation like i'm pretty sure i know most of the dance moves now i like bro, bro, sh- shout out to shout out to arby's doing the love live fly high oh yeah that was, yes. that was really oh my goodness when i saw that i instantly sent it to my group and be like hey yo they did it we made it dude we made it fam when when when, when arby senpai notices your favorite anime you're you're at the top you win like Absolutely. how do you trump that you can't you can't top it. Arby's. Yeah, you dude, won I'm the wa- internet. I'm waiting for Aqua. I want them to do like a happy party train reference, please, or something mm. like that. Please. I kind of want that, uh, the scene from the first opening where they're just like in the water. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. What else are up? they doing? What else are they doing in the water? Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, sh- shout out. Shout out to the first year singing Dancing Stars on Me. I found that. I found that just now on my phone. Yeah. I like that song too. Yeah, yeah. No, so I mean, ah, oh, man, our our the Arby's thing was great, and I loved how it was Muse because I think I was just finishing up OG like Love Live as I saw that on my feed. I was like, Arby knows, Arby, Arby gets knows. it, well, Arby gets it, man. Arby is following us. Oh yeah. Oh, sh- and okay. Uh, here's another one. Favorite rival song. So from the rivals, Air Eyes and Saint Snow. We'll put it together since they have a whopping five songs combined. <laughs> Five or four dancing, songs. Dancing, Actually, yeah, dancing, they do. Stop my dancing. dancing. <laughs> da, 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 ba, da, ba, ba. God, sorry. Like, I changed all my locations from, like, on social media and, like, Mal to, like, don't stop my dancing. It's uh, <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> where am I? Don't stop my dancing. <laughs> That's where I am. <laughs> I might start doing that. Not just the nice. Nice Dude, it's, it's so Oh, catchy. my God. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Dude, you're going crazy right now. Sorry, I gotta have more self control in myself. <laughs> Which uh, is my fa- that's my favorite song. Yeah, Dan, that, that's, don't talk, that's... Uh, shock, party. Shocking party is great. How about you, yeah. Taku? Yeah, shocking party, absolutely. Hundred percent. And G. Uh, for me, it has to be Crash Mine from the new album. Or Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Uh, I have not heard that yet, so you got me beat. Uh, Damn, oh no, looks I just like you're love... no longer my senpai. Wait, what? G, G is my Lone. new senpai now. Senpai should have ended with bacon. Good. Good. Come, Good. come Good. to get, me. Get away from me. I should lead you. Ooh. Well, good. We'll, uh, we'll both teach you the way of aqua. Mm-hmm. 
I'm going back to Taku now. <laughs> God, man, you, you, I'm surprised you're not switching girls as quickly as you're switching senpais. Good God. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 Is it time? Oh. Back. Dab. Dab. Hey. <laughs> Is it God. time? Is it time? It's... I will what, summon what Becker. All, what we've uh, all been waiting for. All right, I'm going to summon Becker. So you feel the comfy. best girl war 2018. Guys, I just want to say it was really nice being friends with you all. Gee, I felt like we had a good connection. We had a great connection, Faith. I'm I'm so sorry we have to end it so quickly. I know we had <laughs> I know we had our differences, like majority of the time, but we had a connection because of those differences. But, the, will, w- will, but the winner of this conversation gets the I, Terra Jumbo of their favorite girl. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, wait. I, I, I'm just kidding. I because wasn't informed of this. I'm, yeah, because there's never going to be a Terra Jumbo if the Muse member is bam, get out of here. Oh, oh. Yo, Taku, we got oh, to go. Mm, Let's go. That hurt. Yeah. You know, oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, they Shut are. up. Jeez, <laughs> quiet. <laughs> You're ruining it. You, that's condensation. It's on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, oh, I'm looking at Twitter right now, fondly. and I just saw the Ellie. Now I will always look fondly upon the conversations we had before this war. Yes. Before the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> they changed. Who's ready to die? Hey. 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 It's, it's All right, Becker, everyone the, on the firing line. It's 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 the chica of this podcast, Becker. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I, I don't Which, know. by the way, side note, side note, Fire. Honoka, Honoka is a way better leader than Chika. Just throwing it out there. To be I mean, ooh. On, ooh. Yes. But on the other hand, Chika oh, okay. never got so sick that she tanked her team's chances of qualifying at the No, Lamar. she had depression, which is kind of the she, same. She <laughs> right. Oh that is hey. not the same thing. Dude, no, depression hurts, man. I would know. Okay? I would know. This got really real. Oh, this, really this, real. Is, this is an anime in real life. Oh, All I'm right. Sorry. Okay, Let's so. Go. We'll go down the list. We'll do Muse best. No, we'll do Aqua best. Well, hold on. Let me open up like first. Malpages because I got to remember their name because I don't remember their God, name. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. 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 He starts naming off Idolmaster girls. Like, who the? <laughs> Yeah, Miki Hoshi is actually his favorite. Actually, no. I, uh, actually, no. Uh, Perfect Blue is my favorite idol anime. TBH. Mm. Okay. Mm. It is. It's pretty good. I mean, that's the snob answer. But like, uh, yeah. well, you know me. I'm a big snob. <laughs> yeah. TBH. I mean, I mean, you are. You are. <laughs> I I'm actually like a huge snob. I know. To be quite it's okay. Not. We accept yeah, you I anyway. Kind of like we accept like your chicaness. Oh man, I think we're just crapping on Chica. Okay, so. <laughs> I uh, love what, what were you, what were we doing, Mine. guys? Uh, we're, sure. we're, uh, we're ruining our friendships by talking about best girls. I meant like group, like wise, because we already know oh, our favorite. We're doing groups. Aqua. We're doing Aqua first. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, so Aqua. Okay. Yeah, I no, have be- best, best go forward. God, you know what I mean? Fate. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so who wants to start? Like, who wants to get judged first? I mean, uh, so I think we can all agree that Yo is best. Mm. Oh, mm. my man, get over mm. here! <laughs> oh, where's my Nesso? Taku, okay. I'm with you, man. Where is your Nessa? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. She's hanging on to it right now. Okay, so I'll start with my list since you guys don't have a spoiler of now who's my number one. All right, start from the bottom. Number nine, Chica. Honestly, Ooh. <laughs> her, as a, her as a leader, I, I was so like inspired by Honoka that Chica, I just wasn't feeling it. She did a lot of running towards Chica's lights. just the worst Hanukkah. Like, it's yeah. just like a poor man's Hanukkah. Pretty much, in my mind. And Yeah. Like, I, I know they try to... Get her with like the, the whole tangerine orange thing is cute and all, but I'm like, nah, I'm not feeling it. Number get eight. Get shit out of here. Okay, so this is where it gets hard. Eight through all the way to the top was very hard. Just throwing it out there, okay? So it doesn't mean they're the worst, but they're just down there. Number eight is Ruby. So Ruby was <laughs> annoying in the beginning. She's trying her gamba be- Ruby she, she is. Her gamba she, best. G- g- gamba <laughs> she is. Gamba the and fuck out of it. I'm pretty <laughs> sure she's a Hajime no Ippo reference, guaranteed. But it's like, second season, yeah, she got some screen time, which was great. I'm proud of her. Um, Here's a side note. on In School Idol Festival, in the game, her callouts when you play her in her team are very annoying. They're very squeaky. I'm like, I can't focus on the song if you keep shouting. Ah! So yeah, like whatever. But and but then again, she does get a few extra points because she's obviously the inbred child of Maki and Nico. So 
Uh, number six or, <laughs> number, or seven. <laughs> Why is she inbred? They're not related. I don't, I don't know, man. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. That I don't know. So, that is so offensive, actually. <laughs> Are you saying all Asians look the same? No, oh, you I said can't. it. I didn't say anything. Oh. You said that. Are you saying all love live girls? Okay, Loki are the Asians same. are really racist people. Like, <laughs> hey, what's up, it's your boy. Um, I just want to say I feel like the way I worded that was really bad. Um, obviously, I don't think all Asians are really racist, but I will say from my personal experience, I've met a couple Asian people that I deem to be a little on the racist side, in my opinion. I just want to say. I kind of regret wording it that way. That's all. I don't know. Okay. Hey, where's, okay, hey. where's this going? Shh. Can we all be quiet? No, no, no. Let's stop. Shh. Number seven. Number seven. Uh, number seven is, um, uh, what do I got? Zuramaru Ahanamaru. Even though she's my picture. Like, we finally got the Eden character, but in my defense, she just did not have enough screen time throughout the entire show. She was constantly random shtick of, oh, look, I'm eating. Hey, look, I'm eating. I love that. But she didn't really have much of a character development part in in the series. Um, yeah. Uh, number six. Uh, Rik- uh, Rikako. Riko. Uh, too shy. Uh, I get it. She's got legs, though. She could jump. She jumped from balcony to balcony. Outstanding. <laughs> but not enough. You know, oh, whatever. yeah. That was that was awesome. But I do like the shtick where she's scared of the dog. That's cute. Number, where am I at? Five? I wrote yeah. a number here. Uh, Mari, uh, Mari's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gordon. Uh, Mari. It's joke. It's joke. Okay. Don't worry. I, I don't. Like, <laughs> the, the whole English thing, like it, it was great at first. Kind of got annoying, but got better in second season. You the, were great at first. Just, and then just got better. Thank you. <laughs> and the but the whole rich thing and her whole thing with her. Oh, my dad's shutting down the school. I'm like, come on. Like I just hate how she was. She was kind of related to all that. It it, it put me off. Like literally, like you hate the fact that she was related to people. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know I'm not related to her dad, but I'm learning a lot about Megan through this. this like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's it was hard for me to explain that. Like, oh yeah, my dad is shutting down the place. I'm like, I don't like how you say that. You say that as if you don't have power, and kind of, you kind of do because you're rich. But oh. okay, okay, I don't that's know. your father. Yeah. I know. <laughs> uh, number five. Uh, where am I? We were well, th- that was five. five. I was on five. Hurry up, Bacon. I, I, I wrote, need to hear about the your bottom wrong. tier awkward girls. <laughs> oh, dude, you're dead. Uh, number four, no, Yohane. You Yoh- are already dead. Uh, Yohane Yoshiko. Yoshiko is number four. Yohane. Uh, I love that. I love her jokes and her constant posing. It's joke. It's no. That's it's not... joke. It's <laughs> little, <laughs> little demon. And then number three. <laughs> Does the Tenji. Number three is Daya. God, I love her call. Wait, is it Daya or Dia? Desuwa. I love that so much. I love you. Thank you. No, he's I talking need, about you. I, I needed that. Oh, God. Watanabe you. Ooh. Number two, Kanan. She's so thick. I love thick. <laughs> she's so thick. She's not, no, she's we so had thick. this conversation. Okay. We had this conversation. She is not thick. Okay. She's not she's, thick. She's, she's muscular, dude. Oh, that's she's fine. She's fit. That's fine. She she's is, fit. She's a ty- she has a type. <laughs> she's fit. And I just love how every time there's a physical thing, they're like, oh, you got to swim 20 kilometers. That's impossible. She's like, I, I got that. I'm like, damn. Hell yeah. And then number one, Watsunabe Yo, she's got a uniform fetish. Her call out's amazing. <laughs> Are you about that? Are you about that, Bacon? Dude, get get me a girl that wears long thigh high socks and I'm in. All in. That's yeah. like ninety percent of the anime girl population. Thank you. Thank you for stating the obvious fate. Okay. So you have like the most basic ass taste. Let's move on. <laughs> you got basic ass taste. <laughs> as Bacon conti- as Bex continues to be a snob. Yeah, oh C- Cece's obviously the best coming from the best anime. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I t- I took a long that was unwarranted. This is a best girl war, but we have rules, so okay? We're like savage. You guys are jabbing at me, other. but I always, I just started. You guys are already jabbing at me this time, so just go on. Away G, with you. G, let's hear from you, other oh, from me? person. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm actually going to say least favorite because Aqua, y'all are adorable dorks. Yep. Thank you. Mm-hmm. But at number nine, I'm sorry, I have Gaia. Ooh, ouch. Ooh. I know, very controversial. But Is it? I don't think I don't think so, but I want to hear why. Well, 
in the anime and also with a lot of the articles, like magazine stories that they uh, like send out. Right. He just doesn't have much substance. I just realized that every time, uh, if she ever shines, she shines with someone else. With she me. never shines. Well, that's because like, a diamond doesn't shine in darkness. You need light to shine on a diamond. Oh, get, exactly. Get next. <laughs> next. Exactly. <laughs> oh. On, on, a, on a fun, here's a fun side note. The voice actor of Daya used to be a Power Ranger. Yeah, yes, from the Sentai. Uh, mm-hmm. Sentai works. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So she's she's strong. Yeah. Go on, Adisha. Go on. Yes. Good job. I love her, but yeah. that's a different one. Daya. Sorry. Uh, at number eight, again, kind of controversial. Rico. Uh, I. I have no comment. I'm okay with that. <laughs> you okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Anyone? Anyone else? Like, yeah. Was just... yeah, yeah. Because Rico, for me, she was fun, but like almost like Daya, didn't really have anything else. She was just almost like a closet lesbo. <laughs> <laughs> we if never you talked. Could even we call did... her closet. Oh. oh. <laughs> Okay, Ooh. we have we're not gonna talk ships. That's 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 gonna put us over like a lot. Yeah, it will kind of. But other than that, she just have like these weird fetish of like Kabedon and hands on chin. Dude, Kabedon is great though. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, Bacon, Mister. I love ZR. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm a man of taste, but no, it's just... okay. I also love ZR. Uh-huh. Don't worry. ZR is a meme. That's a ZR is great. Thing. Go on, G. Sorry we're cutting into your time. <laughs> no, you're good, because we've been cutting into everyone's time. Oh, yeah. you're good. Uh, number seven. <laughs> uh, number seven is uh, Ruby. Ruby, she's a cute one. Uh, she gumbo Ruby's her best. She, you she tries that. her best. She tried her very best. It's, yeah. In the second season, definitely Love made it. her rise really like high. Drink her development arc. Yeah. Uh, love it. At number six, Chica. She's average. That's surprisingly high, honestly. Yeah, honestly. Su- I'm yeah. I'm a little surprised. But you know what? I I feel you. That's fine. Yeah. Thing uh, I is, got, I got the dumb mentality that if you're the leader, like we know you're the greatest, so just get down there. No, but here's the thing. Or now I might get some flack. I think Chica's better than uh Monica. Ooh. I didn't say that. I, I did not say yeah. that. Yeah, oh. that's right. Mm. I'm against three people right now. <laughs> she goes only better just because her herself, she actually broke away and tried to not follow someone else's footsteps, but made her own path. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. And she's really good with paper airplanes. She's really good at paper airplanes. I know. Personally. Why they love paper airplanes. And so also, just... Having this weird fetish with uh, oranges, but eh. <laughs> what? <laughs> you no. talked about a uniform fetish. You don't have a say in this. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, orange fetish is way more normal than. Or, <laughs> should I say Mekon? Wait, are we because... talking about like orange the fruit or like orange the color? We're talking about citrus. The or orange the anime. Anime We're talking about time. citrus. Wait, the lesbian citrus anime. weekly a podcast when. Uh, please tomorrow. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> All right. So All right, uh, number five, Kanan. Surprisingly low. That's low. Surprisingly low. We're going to have fighting words. Uh, gee, I really appreciated the time we were friends. I'm sorry. Y'all go hate me. Ooh. Well, the thing is... <laughs> Whoa, Taku. Love no. brings up it's the not... worst in people. But here's the thing. She's only number five because the other four I just like just better. Yeah. It's not because she's like really low. It's just because there's better people. She's lovely. She's pretty much the person I would actually go out and actually hang out with. Is kind of when we all realize that all these girls are completely out of our league. I know. Shit. Also illegal. Yes. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Wait, what? No, I don't, know. I don't think Mari is illegal. Hey, wait, how old is Mari? I don't. 18, uh, I can we not talk about this? Because then <laughs> all, right. all of a sudden, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's not talk about this. Ooh, ooh, that's but, a very conversation ooh. here. Yep. Yeah, very, very controversial. Very. Number four, Yoshiko. Oh, same as me. Good man. Mm-hmm. Good man. Adorable dork. Uh, she's just fun. Every time she was like at screen time, 
and everyone like she's the butt of everyone's joke but she's my lovable joke Ooh. it's joke it's, it's joke, joke. <laughs> we'll get to that later on. Uh, number three. This is very hard. And it's Yo. Ah, I'll give it to you. Top three. Mm-hmm. Bronze medal. Yeah. That's fine. All good. To tell you the truth. <laughs> it sounds when... so heartbroken. No, that's, no, I've talked with him before. Like, I I've, I have yeah. a general idea what his list is. <laughs> right. Yeah, so. Uh, story about Yo. At the start of Aqua when they were introducing the characters one by one. Yeah. Yo was actually number one. Like my initial like just reading the uh like character descriptions and looking at the design, Yo was number one for me. Yeah. But then the other characters started to have life. <laughs> <laughs> they were just brought to life. <laughs> Like with the voices, with their personalities, and just kind of. They were drawn. They were animated. <laughs> they finally got to start talking. It was great. It was great, guys. Come on. Oh. It came from this to now. All right, and then. Oh yeah. I know you're talking about. But go on. Number three. Number two. Anamaru. Or, freaking Zuramaru. <laughs> Anamaru Zura. Zura. Anamaru Zura. I... Mirai Zura. <laughs> it's the future. Future. Okay. Future. Like, like, if, like Hanamar, if, if Tokyo blows your mind, then I can't wait till you see your first gaming PC. <laughs> like, like, oh my, oh my goodness. It, oh, you can this see is the inside. internet? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is called Twitch streaming. Oh my god. And this is called oh. Mukbang, where you can watch people eat. Oh! <laughs> she Actually, she would make a pretty good Mukbang uh, host. Everyone would make a mukbang host. Great one. Yeah. But yeah. Hanamaru, she's just very lovable. I just uh, love that cute side of her when she was introduced. It was like a storybook when she was introduced. Oh, I like how you said that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And during that time, she just felt like she was the person that shouldn't be shining and always like the background character. In actuality, she can be the main character if she wants to be. Fair enough. And just just love her. And my number one, Mari. It's I joke. That's it. You keep saying it. <laughs> okay, I get it. This is Please. not a joke, Fate. What the fuck? Can we just... Okay. <laughs> this is serious business. Yeah, this is serious, serious business. business. Serious, 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 serious business. All right. That's a, that's a, that's a good list, my guy. That's a <laughs> I have that never heard you sound so, so sincere. <laughs> that's a, that was the very most sincere. fake sentence I've ever heard in my life. And I went to New York City. So good, bro. <laughs> like I think the best. my guy. Fuegisimo, oh. my guy. Okay, so who wants, who wants to get Judge next? Who wants to get oh. Jiggy with it? Yes. Um. Hmm. I I'll I'm just gonna Thanks. go off character design, TBH, because I don't really remember this show too much. I think I watched it in like 2016. I think. And I wasn't, like, super big on it. Did you even finish um, the second season? Do I need to watch the second season? To do this? Wait, leave, leave. Talk <laughs> do I need, really why did we invite Bex off this? serious question. Do I need to? He's literally yes. the chica of yeah, the chica. Ask, let's you. just rewatch it right now. Let's just... Yeah. <laughs> Six-hour podcast, go. No, <laughs> let's do it. Is, no, okay. This is already long as so, it is. So, do I have to go from, like, worst to best? Up yeah, to you. just quick hitters, okay. quick hitters. Okay, yeah. so like worst is probably like Chica, hmm. and then we'll hmm. go like Rico, and then we'll go Dia, and then Ruby, Daya. Hanamaru, Mari, Yoshiko, and then Yo. It's I a think boy. That's... Where's, yeah, where's, it's where's, a boy. where's Where's Kanan? Uh, yeah, where's Kanan Kana and Hanamaru? Yeah. No, Hanamaru is like fourth, and then okay. Kanan is like third i think oh that's Ooh. a good top three it's i a, applaud it's a, that it's a solid there's it's, just like the ones okay. that i remember the most mm-hmm. which is fair enough fair enough okay good so this now oh, yes. taco how about you yeah. all right i'm uh, ready to make some enemies 
<laughs> oh. 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 oh, Mr. Big Ooh. Guy on campus. I, I will preface that by saying... <laughs> all right, whip it out, buddy. Oh, I'll preface see. by saying I do like all the Aqua girls, but let's, let's, <laughs> look, let's look go. Look at him build that barrier. He's like, let's oh, go. Okay. So, number nine is Yo. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> How do I delete oh. a person from existence? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> elaborate. I, I, you, um, right now. you get I like just, thirty seconds to elaborate before I lose my mind. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I honestly just felt like for a large part of the series they didn't do much with her. That's that the way true. I felt about it. I didn't feel like they did much with her, but I will say her episode in the first season, I think it was like number eleven or something. The was actually like one of my favorite episodes. I found I thought it was super relatable. But, mm. uh, okay. Okay, yeah, go, go, no, let's, go let's, on. Let's not, like, not, some not like I want to hear the rest of the list, Baka, but okay. Number eight. <laughs> Number eight is Kanan. How the- Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You're making big enemies. <laughs> Taku, I trust you. And we're just you. guests. Yeah, yeah, you are like guests, a brother dude. to me. We're gonna be here for a while. You oh, are yeah, supposed to bring bro. balance to the force. You see, I, I really liked Kanan at the start of the series. When she's but, quiet and nothing I, else? I, but, I mean, in, like, the first episode? <laughs> in, like, Taku, the first I episode? Used, I liked you at the very beginning of this podcast. <laughs> and then, in the very first segment. And, and, and then she disappeared for about six episodes. And I I will just say, personally, I hate how they did the drama arc in season one. Okay, the drama arc was terrible. Let, I, let, I hate how terrible. they did that. Oh, and man, fair, drama fair in, enough. in Love Life is bad. Oh, yeah, it like hurt my opinion of Kanan badly. I'll give you that one. Like that's a good but, explanation. Okay. But she, but she has the redeeming quality of the fact that she centers happy party train. <laughs> so, oh my god! Okay, you just saved yourself. I'm you're forgiven in my books. Okay. 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 But that's just eight. No, we can still be friends. Number seven, Hanamaru. I like Hanamaru. Oh my! Oh my! She used oh my, to be my number one. Oh my! But I just started you. liking other girls more for different reasons. Taku. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm so so, so at this point he. He does like all the girls from this point on. A whole lot. She's <laughs> a rainbow, right? Um, oh, this is on records, too. Oh, no. Let's see. Uh, number six. Number six is Mari. I, she is had her joke? moments. <laughs> she had her moments where I felt she was really good. And, like, one of them is the, the Yo episode I mentioned earlier, number 11. I thought she was really good in that. Oh, like she's just not as high up as some of the others for me. Whoops. Number oh, five kind of hurt. <laughs> Number five is Chica, and Again, surprisingly high. It's it's another one where like I I definitely like Tonoka better, like absolutely one hundred percent. But Chica had her like it, like it's like Mari. She had her moments for me that were really good and that I really liked, and like that's what kind of brings her up to where she is. Number four is Johanne. Wow, and we all have oh, her at four. Wow. And I I loved the Johanne Rico episode from season two. Oh, with Nocturne? Oh, yeah. Arguably one of the best uh, Oh, ships. with the dog, yeah, yeah. yeah. I adored that episode so much. It's It was so good. Actually, I'm going to cut in just a little bit. I love how they kind of use uh, Rikako's style of drawing. Rico's yes, <laughs> mm. she's a terrible yeah. artist. <laughs> I love it though; it's so it's cute. true. I know. Okay, actually, okay. transitioning from that, my number three is Rico. Oh, and okay. I, I, I always kind of liked Rico from like the start, and but there was one thing in like one of the original. When they were first releasing the bios for Sunshine, there was a thing about Rico playing the piano. But they also said that she played the viola, and I played the viola for 10 years in school, and oh, I've damn. been saying since the start that if she ever plays the viola in Love Live Sunshine, I'm immediately shooting her to number one. No shame. Complete bias. <laughs> no, I, I, could, um, I could... I'm fine with that. That's, that sounds... And it, okay. it's sentimental. I can't that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. And number two? Number two was Ruby. Gamba Ruby, and I, I will say that after se- uh, that, like that was almost entirely because of the arc in season two, because like after season one, she was right at the bottom. 
I did not like her after season one, but like that arc made her do a full 180, in my opinion, of her. Same. And obviously, now we're here. Number one is absolutely Daya. I I adore everything. I adore her, like her little moments of idol fangirling. Her episode in season two, with the whole Daya Chan thing was. I I loved it. I loved that episode so much. And just, then obviously, just just the way she scratches really? her mole. <laughs> yeah, really, okay. Ashley, the Daya episode. Yeah, I thought same. they could do better. Yeah, honestly, that just felt like a cheap ripoff of the Muse episode, where like. They tried to break that down too. I'm you just know, saying, I feel that. I, just I feel that. I'm just I can saying, understand that. Now, now that you already put, like, we already established we're no longer friends. Cause of Absolutely. Your <laughs> I'm, I'm ruining some. Love Live ruins more friendships than Mario Party, confirmed. <laughs> I would love to test that theory, but yeah, we'll go on. All right. And All right. that's my list. For Aqua. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. All right. Fate. Fate up to bat next. I am. So number nine is Chica. Uh, I don't think that comes as a surprise at all. Mm. Um, what the fuck, man? Chica. <laughs> <laughs> Chica just reminded me too much of. Plot twist: just... Becker's got Chica at number one for some reason. Chica just reminded yeah, me I'm too much the of the biggest Chica fan. <laughs> Chica reminded me too much of Bex, and I was like, I can't have oh! that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Damn. you're out of the podcast. Buddy. Um, <laughs> you um... can't take me out of the podcast. Get Welcome, Taku and G to the podcast. <laughs> Welcome. Here's a complimentary <laughs> shirt and medal. Oh, oh thank you. Hey. So, so Chica. Why not Taku? Yes. Oh, yeah. Taku too. Taku too. Yeah, Taku too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number eight is Johanne. Uh, wow. 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 Not a huge fan of, oh. like, I usually do, like, I do kind of like Chuni characters, like, uh, what's her face? Uh, Rika from Chutu, uh, Chuni Bill. Chuni Bill. Yeah, Chuni Bill. Yeah, Chuni Bill. Uh, great, great show. Uh, yeah, it's a fun show. And yeah. I usually like it, but I just. It was kind of like eye rolly at times, and it's I just cringy, uh, like saying. too just, chuny. Yeah, too chuny, and I kind of wanted it to end. Uh, like, why seven. are you in that tree? <laughs> <laughs> uh, number seven is Daya, who is no ace. Uh, I think like <laughs> seven people who have watched both Daya, no ace, and Love Live Sunshine will understand that. Joke. Oh my god! The five people. Oh my have. goodness. Uh, yeah, no Daya. Mm, Boo boo desawa indeed. Uh yeah. <laughs> I, I, like it was, she was like, eh. I mean, like for the most part, like I don't. I think like most of these awkward girls would like rank below number seven of my muse list anyway. Uh whatever. And then, but like, and then number six is Gamba Ruby, who I put there purely because of her catchphrase. Like honestly, most of these characters were because of the catchphrases. They did have great catchphrases, but like it's mostly that. Five is Mari. Uh, no, that's not a joke. Uh, I thought like her <laughs> her oh English God. was okay. It was fine. It was funny at times. Her rich girl thing was okay. But I was just like, I had already fallen so in love with like the blonde from Muse. I was like, maybe I'll really like the blonde in Aqua and just didn't happen. Four was Rico. And this is 100% not because of anything Rico did, uh, but because of the fire... Rico Maki fan art that I have seen here and there. Oh, it's uh, wow. them, Outside. them in, uh, them in a like, hospital together. Also, also, like the one uh, like, I don't know if you you guys have definitely seen like the small like Love Life Sunshine comics and the one where like Rico's like, Chica is your dad a lollicon when she sees Chica's mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did see that comment. Oh my, oh my god. Jesus. So, that's why Rico's up there. Uh, Hanamaru is number three for me. Uh, like, her ju- Mirai Dura, I, like, find really enduring and funny. And I just really like her. She's really sweet. And uh, number two is Yozuro. Like, she's fun. Yosara! Yozuro. She's really cool. But also, like, I can name maybe two things about her personality. She likes uniforms, and she says Yozuro. Like, that's it. But, so, like, already, like, most of them would be below most of Muse. And then a number one, of course, is Kanon. 
because she is canonically Fit the ass. daughter of Eddie and Umi, of course. <laughs> she, what the? F- <laughs> she looks so. There's there's also comics for that, which is really funny. But also like, I swam a lot, uh, like in middle school and high school, and so like I've got a I got a soft spot for swimmers. So Kanan's up there. She's rocking the ponytail. Dude, she dude, looks great. And also dude, like the yo, scene yo, yo where swims she, too. <laughs> when they do the scene where they go when they're trying to go from like the live back to the school and they go down that uh like tractor thing that oh, suddenly the goes sad, and, the sad party train. Yeah, and then <laughs> she breaks it. Like that was hilarious. And of oh, course yeah. she's she centers uh happy party train and I love trains. So choo choo. My goodness, I know fate is a meme lore now. <laughs> Oh yeah, Shit. this is now, what we do. We deal with this now. way too much. This is why you shouldn't join the podcast because of is. fate. Yes, I make too many. Memes. I thought it was because of me, actually. I, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. You see, it's meme lords. Okay, you're done. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, <laughs> no, so you done. Should we burn through Muse? I know we took up way too much time for Aqua. We're like an hour thirty now. Yeah, Taco. Oh, we go to two hours. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Oh, oh okay. I, mean, I, I don't want. People... I, I wasn't sure if you were really tired, Fate, because I know you're on spring break. Whoa! No, he's on coffee no. right now, as far as I know. I, right? I am. I so I never drink caffeine, and I never drink coffee. But uh, today, you and did. I was like, I need to stay up. I need to drink coffee. So like, I am super wired right now. So uh, <laughs> are you? <laughs> are you feeling a wonderful rush right now? Through hey, your oh god, hey. damn it! I am That's ready so to bad. start. That's like dash. fate levels of bad. Hi, hi, see you later. Mana, mana. Let's go. Hi. Hey, hey, start dash. Let's get this going. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm ready to do, do like seven hours of this, but oh. out of respect for Taku, we should have. And Taku, as someone who loves Muse, you should start it off. Yeah. Because like, okay. you are the Muse person. Okay. The, the... My, my Muse rankings switch more often than anything, so like, this could this could literally be completely different in like a week from now. Oh, sure. Honestly, mm-hmm. that's fine, because you're such so, a huge Muse fan, but I I'm judging think, you very hard. I, I think the closest to accurate would be... Number nine is Kotori. Ooh. Good. That is, Whoa. yeah. That is, that is completely objectively true. Yeah. 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 yeah no, no, I, I, I disagree. I disagree. Kotori hard with that. sucks. Mm. No, yeah. I, no, 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 I'm sorry. I disagree. Kotori's mo- voice is. Uh, I'm so say, sorry mud. she's photobombed you guys like three times. Okay? <laughs> As you see, that's that love life. She wasn't originally invited to the picture because she sucks. I. I like moments with her, like, but <laughs> what? M- m- most of it's just, m- most of it just hit or miss for me. Yeah. Uh, number eight is number eight is probably Rin, and that's another oh, hard one because I think she enough. has good moments. I think fair she has enough. some really good moments, but like, someone's got to be number eight. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that is, and this hurts in the eye. Ow. You number, literally no. handed her like the number eight participation trophy. Like, here, someone has to hold this. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> here, you get your consolation prize now. <laughs> number seven. Number seven is Haneo, and that's mostly because like Ta-hen. when Ta-hen. <laughs> when Ta-hen. our anime Ta-hen. did their uh, did the rewatch of Love Live, leading into like the Blu-ray release of the school movie or whatever. Mm-hmm. I uh, I just started randomly after like episode nine, just like, hey. No one's doing stuff for Haneo in these threads. I'll take screen caps of Haneo and post them. Oh no. Okay, I'll do that along with these giant ass write ups I'm doing. Damn. Um. Mm. Okay, number six. Number six is Umi. And that's a hard one because, like. Umi da. I, I don't know. U- Umi just. She, she has good sucks moments. Sucks at card games. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yo, that's one of my favorite moments. Though, with the, the face, fu- yeah. the <laughs> funny poker face. To get, give her credit though, she's on like most shirts now. <laughs> that's true. Her face. That face is iconic. It is. I've seen so many good memes of that face. Oh yeah. Um, number five, and this is one where I'm probably gonna get a decent amount of hate. Hmm. If you say Eddie, like Taku, Shh, I just want to say, let him I'm speak. literally gonna a, a decent amount of hate from people that aren't fate. Oh, phew. okay. We can still be friends. N- number five is Maki. Oh, ouch, man. That's fine. I can. I can. Yeah, no worries. Ooh, Wait okay. until my turn. Okay. I thought <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Gordon, okay. why? I thought you were I, my friend. 
don't really have that much to say. Since when were we friends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're business partners. <laughs> we're business partners. We're not we a drove we're like a, three we're hours business. together. Oh, gosh. That, that's a bond. <laughs> it is a bond. <laughs> like, I see why everyone else likes, like, loves Maki so much. She just doesn't quite do it for me. She just uh, loves you the wrong way. No, no, number four. <laughs> oh, my God. Number four is Nozomi. And oh, oh, okay. I, I grew to like her on a rewatch, and like I think like her backstory in season two is probably my second favorite backstory from the entire franchise. I just I I I really liked it. I just thought it was super it was good, it was well told, and it was savvy as fuck. I wonder who your favorite mm-hmm. backstory is. In the oh, I wonder. Oh, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh <laughs> I'm getting my ringtone of that, by the way. Just <laughs> God bless. Okay. God knows, number three. <laughs> number Shut three. Up. Number three is Honoka for me. I I partially blame this on the fact that like two of my closest friends are huge Honoka fans, and that oh, damn it, Mega. Me. Get better friends. <laughs> and also, oh. and and also the fact that I am a mod of the Honoka Discord, so that probably doesn't help oh, wait, either. A oh, you're a mod in that Discord. Is it oh. literally yeah. just you, Mega, and Geo? No, nah, not even Geo. <laughs> He's not a mod there. What do you mean? I would have. Doesn't Geo love Hon- Honoka? Yeah, he likes Honoka, but he's not a mod. Ah. Mm. <laughs> I like, I like how Gordon like knows. He's like, oh he's yeah, not I've been there. To be a mod. He's two. like that Discord. <laughs> Number two is where I redeem myself in Fate's eyes and say Ellie. Oh my gosh. Oh, and Kaku, you beautiful man. That was because, like, on a rewatch I did on my own, Holo I just... Show. For some reason, I just fell in love with, like, episode eight, and the mm-hmm. entire, like... Mm-hmm. The, the scene with her and Nozomi in the hallway is... Mm-hmm. And the soundtrack for that scene is fucking mm. amazing, I will say. Mm. Oh, Preach. bro. Bro, Garden, of, Garden of Gay... Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Good song, and there's a great video great that goes with it. Mm, my man. I love the live. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh the live I'll need to so see good. this video for all uh, research have purposes. To. <laughs> I got a couple things to link you then. All right. And... <laughs> Ooh, what else? <laughs> I'll link you something great. I see. Number one, uh, if you couldn't tell by the picture, yeah. My number one is Nico. Too high. I thought it was oh, Azunyan from K. I thought I oh. thought your number one was Hayana because she's also in the profile picture. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she's on the list twice. Oh, oh, absolutely. That's how good she is. Definitely. No, but I I obviously like from what I said earlier, Nico was what got me to check out the series originally. And I really I I adored her backstory, obviously. Yeah, that's my favorite backstory, as I was saying earlier, but, like, and I, I love the way that, like, through her backstory, she just, no matter how much shit happens, no matter, everyone leaves the fucking club, and she just keeps going and keeps trying for this, and I, I really respect that. I, I will say this, I will say this, one of the most heart-wrenching moments in uh, all of season two of, of the of Muse was when Maki went up to Nico, she's like, we're leaving Muse because it's gonna be nothing without you. And I was like, "Oh God!" That oh, oh yes. when she said that, I was like, "Cause, mm-hmm. cause mm-hmm. in my mind, I was on that side too. I was like, "Yo, keep Muse going, man. It's going good." And it's like, "No, it's nothing without you three. I was like, "Do it's nothing without Damn. you, Bacon." Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I needed that, dude. I really needed that. <laughs> keep having a moment. Oh. Alright, who's was, next? That was nice. next. As as the other one who loves Muse much more than Aqua, this is a list that is near and dear to me. And Taku, I wanna say, because of your love for Nico, she has risen up this list. Like she is in the spot she She's is. Oh, you can't, you can't do that. Hey. Number nine is Honoka. I don't think that should come as a surprise to anyone. Uh I really disliked the part. Like, it was so aggravating when i saw her like working herself too hard and like getting sick i was like this is the most obvious plot line in the history of obvious plot lines and like i saw like my <laughs> and like shit like, Com- <laughs> shit like comet lucifer like i was just really pissed off about it 
Uh, so it didn't like really endear me to it. And then I was like, who the hell would vote her student council president in season two? Okay, uh, absolutely that, same. That, uh, I was same. like, I was like, this is the most dumb decision by any school possible. No wonder you guys were about to close. <laughs> Main Shit. character oh, powers going in. Yeah, <laughs> Ooh, the damn. the musical style opening was funny though. I did like that. Uh, and then number eight because someone had as someone once said, someone has to be number eight. Uh, is Nico. Uh, oh, that stings. Oh. That kind of stings, man. I'm oh. sorry. Nico, like... Like, it, it was just really... Nico, Nico, no. Yeah, I was just... I was just... I can't... I can't even... Yeah. I don't even know how to describe <laughs> my feelings for Nico. It's, it's just difficult. Like, out That's of the res- worst feeling. It's like, I don't know. I just don't like her. I don't know. I, just, I, I, I can't describe... Out of courtesy to Taco... Out of respect to our friendship, I won't go in depth about it. Whatever you say. Um, and this is number worse. eight. <laughs> and number seven is Nozomi. Uh, oh, what the? Oh, <laughs> I'm just going whoa, one by whoa. one, having everyone hate, hate me. Back up, hate Gordon. You, Fate. I've already secretly hate you for years. I thought years. we had something beautiful here, Fate. Oh. Back up, Gordon. So- it, it ain't worth gee, it. It ain't worth it. Gee, I'm sorry. I, or- I knew this was going to happen. But, like, Nozomi is... The thing is, I don't even... I used to dislike Nozomi, like, throughout season one and, like, early part of season two. You clearly still I... do dislike her. Look how long. <laughs> <I know. laughs> nice, like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't dislike her really. Like, I liked her backstory, and I thought it was cute and endearing. But, like, the only reasons I like Nozomi are because of her friendship with Ellie. So I felt like that was, it would be disingenuous to rate her above the other girls who I like because of how they stand on their own. Okay. Okay. You know, I, I, I hate We've you mentioned with that. all of my heart, okay. but you know, I can respect that, you know. <laughs> I know it's not deep in my heart, but I think I can respect I that. I understand that you were dropped on a flight of stairs as a child, but you know, that's... <laughs> oh. I know you're jealous that knows me has Ellie, but... Mm, oh. That, oh. oh, that's actually the reason, obviously. Oh, come uh, on. Clearly. And then number five is Kotori. Uh... Okay, the fact that you have Kotori higher than Nozomi is really sus. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, right. like, I, I don't, don't mind that, like, you know, Nozomi is low, but, like, the fact that you have Kotori higher than Nozomi is, like, hmm. The thing is, like, I do, like, my, I did my rankings, like, top four, and then bottom three, and then I was like, shit, I forgot two of them, so I just, like, stuck them Middle next two. To <laughs> so this list is even refined. That's sad. <sighs> so, like, Kotori is six, and she's, like, like, her... St- first like season thing was kind of okay and then she like disappeared but like the meme face is funny and you know me i love my memes uh and then hanayo was like i like the like the someone help me or like big problem thing but mostly because of like the one episode where they all decide to like change things up and eri does (laughs) does it so really, oh, I probably yeah. should have Nozomi over Kotori and Haneo, cause, yeah, that no, that's fair. That's fair. I should probably have Nozomi at five. Okay. okay. I've seen the light. I've seen the light. Kotori Eight. and Haneo are below that. Wow, switch on the fly. Huh. Yeah. No, I mean, cause like I was like Haneo, I really only like because Ellie made that skit like her line so endearing. <clears throat> and then my top four is like, it's really close. Ah. Uh, and like this, this changed. This changed a lot while I was watching, and probably still changes regularly. The like three below number one. So for now, number four is Umi, and I kind of like I like her, but I also feel like she's just a rip off of Neo from K on. I can so, see that. So I was mm-hmm. like, I wasn't like the biggest fan. Like she's nice, but also like Rings of Light. Shout out to Wally. Uh, really likes umi a lot and you know i can't like anything a canadian likes so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay damn <laughs> no i, I thought I, I thought i had weird re- reasons but okay. no no, 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 no. uh hating canadians is valid i think <laughs> shout out to <laughs> shout out to amy uh no, no. wally's no. my boy i love him but like umi's probably four maki is three because i have a soft spot for cinderace and I also play piano for a long time. My mom's a piano teacher, music teacher, and I learned for a while. So like, Aww. that was really sweet. And then like the Maki thing, where like she still believes in Santa. I was, I was like, she is oh, so precious. That was cute. Must that protect. Was, must must protect. protect. And then number two is Rin. 
Uh, I really liked how they handled. First of all, I have a soft spot for bob cuts, so like that already put her like towards the top of my list. And then second, I really liked how they handled how she felt like she wasn't girly enough, and how she always felt tomboyish. Rain boy. And yeah, and I was, and I felt so bad for her, and like they did it really well, and like how they had her as like the leader for that one, uh, mini cons live for like the fashion show or whatever, and how they like Wing really. Yeah did her right and like her like cutesy like yeah at the end of every line was like really fun and also when umi did it was also really funny uh i really <laughs> like that skit by the way like the one where they all switch personalities yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah that yeah. was great like kotori doing like the hey everyone i'm sorry i'm late i'm also eating again i was like damn that is too real uh, oh and then, my god number one is of course eddie she's gorgeous beautiful i really loved how like prideful she was but also uh, like she how about sensitive. the mixed girls huh? Mm. <laughs> mm. yo I, i'm not i'm not saying chitoke is also my favorite in nisekoi but oh whoa 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 whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. stand Different down whoa. stand later. down stop uh, <laughs> but eddie i mean eddie's great and like she like her pouting scene in the movie is also super adorable uh she's just really great and i really liked how like she had this high standard for everything they would do uh so i mean yeah and like her backstory with her as a ballerina i thought was like really showing like how competitive she could be but like also the soft side with her recording that first concert for her sister like i I don't know i just really like eddie a lot so yeah she's the best i'm sorry taku i know you still hate me (laughs) oh well well (laughs) Well, well, you're under the assumption that we all liked you in the first place, so that's no. true. Ooh, ooh, oof. Mm. oof, that hurts. All right, mm-hmm. uh, I guess comparing my list to Fates is the kind of fitting that I go next. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Time for me oh, to make shit. It. time for me to make enemies, but oh, shit. Well, there is go. there is redemption at at the end, but I won't I won't make any adjustments is, from this. Is part. this Bacon's redemption arc? No, <laughs> this is the <laughs> this is Bacon's trust no. and betrayal arc. <laughs> yeah, get out. Ooh. You're stupid. Okay, so um, at number nine I got Rin. So, uh, okay. okay. Oh. So with Rin, I was just like, dude, the Neon thing's very annoying, and she joined Muse just because like Hanio joined. She's like, oh, I'll come too. So I'm like, dude, you don't even have your heart in this. You were just pushing your friend to do something. You followed suit. So way to be a sheep. Number eight, uh, <laughs> ha- Hanio. Uh, <laughs> my, my 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 thing with that is that they I wanted her to be the food character, and she kind of was, but they split her between her and Hana. Um. Honoka, like oh Honoka eats bread, Honoka eats rice. And I'm like, why didn't you combine them together to get Zuda Maru? But whatever. I, I was my prayers are answered when Aqua came along. Uh, Honoka, it's it's the she she's plain as rice. So number seven, uh, you got Nico. Uh, the Nico knee thing got very old, but one of the most heartfelt moments between her and Maki at the beach scene. So she, that she got bumped up quite a bit. Uh, number six, Honoka. Uh, I kind of I'm in, I'm with Faye on the whole like she the whole working yourself too hard like that could have been done a little better, but hey you know the first leader of of a great group you know I'll give her some slack you know she's she's trying because she actually succeeded in saving her school so good for you. Uh, num- number five Umi, uh, same thing I love the memes I love how strict she was she fit as hell, and I love that little Overwatch clip someone made of her. Just a side note, we'll send that to you guys. That's Whoa, hilarious. I need to see that. I, I need to see that. Uh, As I was... someone who plays a lot of Overwatch. And oh, well dude, we gotta Overwatch. play together. Thanks for the invite. Uh, oh, I didn't know you played. Dude, bro, I play everything. I don't. I'm playing a lot. Uh, number four. <laughs> number four is Ellie. Uh, <laughs> it was a little. It was a little weird at first when she's like, "Oh, you guys aren't good enough to be a group because I, you guys, dancing is a discipline." I'm just like, "Why don't you help them?" She did like, though. She did, but took that was such a random like stick to have with them. Like, oh, you guys she didn't good think enough. it would be okay for her to do it as her role as the student council president. No, no. You when you criticize someone, help them. Help she them. She did. It took her a little too long. Like <sighs> she just she didn't have to have that little. That friction with them. That that was not needed at all. Offer your help when you need it, okay? Whatever. She got them the exposure <laughs> number f- they number needed. Three. <laughs> number, th- number three is Kotori. Hey. Uh, yeah, pretty pretty high, huh? Kotori, because, dude, the burbs. Oh, my goodness. I love Wonderful Rush. 
and her running all that, even though it's just a pillow. She, she makes the amazing outfits. Come on. And same with Watanabe Yo. She makes the outfits too. And I don't know. Her, her scene when she was trying to act foreign was great. Ellie's reaction was great too. That was a great moment for all of them. And the photo bombing. The photo bombing movement makes me laugh every single time i love it then number two knows me best jojo reference of all time gotta give that to her great body always hilarious groping everyone i'm all about that I mean, <laughs> okay wait i actually blocked out all the groping stuff from my memory because i disliked Ooh, it so else? much no mo knows me's going back to number seven I'm how, sorry. Oh, how uh, dare you, Megan? I hate oh, you. Never oh, you sit sh- for. How dare you? Uh, I am not. I am sitting. How dare you? <laughs> and number one. Oh man, dude, undisputed champion, one true idol, Maki. Oh, most heartfelt moment in the series for Muse. She is the backbone. When? Of, uh, the beach scene. The beach scene with Nico. There's nothing without you. Uh, oh, that. Nothing okay. without and you. And Ma- Maki, she, pl- hey, she, plays the, <laughs> she plays the piano. I think that's freaking sexy. Dude, I should do Banzai. Oh, I wait. Oh, I playing the piano is sexy. Amazing. Great legs. Super innocent. Tomato. <laughs> nothing else. Toshi no yes. Kilko. She also Toshi wears no those Kilko. tiny hats. She wears, she she's work. got great tastes in fashion. The tiny hats, obviously, blocking out the sunlight. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> good night. Episode also, ends here. Goodbye. I, I want to <laughs> actually make a quick note. The first time I I didn't even know where this was from. The first time I ever heard the song "I Shadow by Inzai" was when Taku sang it in the R anime Discord karaoke. Oh God! <laughs> Wait, I did. <gasps> so like find it. Holy shit! <laughs> find it, please. I, it was. It like, I don't yeah, even was, remember that. It was probably like 2015. It definitely was like 2015. And I just Shit. remember when I watched Love Live like for the first time, right? Like two, three weeks ago. I was like, oh, this is the song Taku sang. <laughs> <laughs> Who oh sung it better? God. Taku. Taku. Obviously Taku. Oh my God. Great voice. He should be an idol. He should be. Hell I, yeah. I'd vote Sign him for up. Love Live. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. All right. All right, Gordon. <laughs> All right. No well, pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get so much hate. Mm, what else? Is Katori right. your number two? <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, at my number nine, I have Anayo. Okay. Okay. That's We're, okay right, right. We're okay for Starting now. Starting off okay. <laughs> okay. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch, that's um, really mean. Well, for Hanayo, she just... Mm, she didn't really get much out of the anime. She was like name two things that she did. Eat. Okay. And balance on her one leg. I don't remember that. And she ran. And she ran. <laughs> That's three no, she actually skipped out on eat running to eat, remember? Did she skip leg day? Oh my she god. Skip <laughs> mouth She's day. Shut up. Rip, rip Randy. Rip Rip Randy. Rip, rip, rip Randy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just Hanayo. Yeah, I, she was just nothing to me. I'm sorry. Oh, man, wow. Slay. Oh. I know, like out of all love life, I love like all the girls. Just not Hanayo. That that damn, I'm glad no one really liked Hanayo. That's some real talk. I know. Right I, I apologize to every other love life fan that loves Hanayo. This is just a personal opinion. Oh good. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now the next She's one. I love how we're literally like on edge to hear the rest of your uh, list. Dude, I know. Like, I, I'm like uh, yeah. Like, Eight. I'm like... Rin. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Like, Good man. Good like man. almost like Hanayo, um, she almost didn't get anything. But I do love the arc when she had her own episode. I did love that episode of Rin. And that's did you why love Live It? I love Live It. Shut up. God. <laughs> But also, just with her uh, enduring uh, character traits, with the nyas and uh, her like little tomboyish, but very energetic, I did like that. Okay, I think we're okay. Number seven, Maki. Oh! oh. oh. Keep going before. For some odd reason, oh. in Muse, I just did not like the first years. I'm just glad Eddie and my Eddie and like. Nico for uh, Taku are safe out of the mm-hmm. bottom three. Bro, but, dude, you got like the same list as Pro ZD. 
Really? Did yeah. I? As, 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 oh. His oh, bottom yeah. three. His bottom three are the first years. Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know oh, because yeah. that is true. Oh wow! I forgot about it. But no. Uh, let's see. Maki, like she was cute. I don't like Sundades. Ooh, that's like oh. not liking ZR. Like, how do you watch anime? That's like not uh, liking water. <laughs> I don't like ZR. I somehow watch play anime. Pegs, you're a snob. It's different. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. oh wow. Snobs have no place Pekers. here. Okay. Okay. You have uh, no power here. <laughs> yeah, Maki, I just didn't like the Sundae app, but she did. Like, she's really cute. I love how she plays piano and she makes uh, and composes music. But that's about it. Uh, number six? Mm-hmm. Monoka. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. okay. Again, yeah, just like enough. Chica, average Joe. Oh. How, oh. how high up is Kotori going to be? Shh. Let the man <laughs> yeah. speak. Let him speak. Let him speak. <laughs> number five, Nico. All right. Yeah, Nico, I... <laughs> yeah. Thinking about Nico... I thought I sounded fake, okay? <laughs> I've heard much worse. You don't when even Nico's, know. Like, yeah, Nico, oh, yeah, I have Taku's read. picture have shows up seven. with Nico's smug face, like, that's all I... That's, <laughs> it's like, okay. I see that all yeah, the time. but on Nico, like, throughout the series, she has been kind of like that driving force uh, for, like, things to happen, like, funny things to happen. So, I always... Like, love those type of characters to kind of, like, drive things over there. And I do love how she has that uh, personality sw- uh, swap from her idol version to just Nico. Oh. And, like, oh, I'm, like, your favorite idol. And then after all of a sudden, when she's, like, normal self, it's like, oh, yeah. You have a problem with that? <laughs> No, I'm, just, I'm, I'm waiting for the top three. Like, I have a lot. I no, like there's still arms. four. We still have four. I know. Yeah, four. I know. four. I know. Number four is Umi. Okay. Fair enough. Umi is like that first love crush. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That kind of that hurt because in my mind, I'm like, yeah. That sounds yeah. Really like yeah. Her. A- a- aiming oh, a bit like too ghosts. high and then getting crushed. That That sounds like me. Yeah, because initially I liked her. I love how she was very diligent. Um, I do love those type of personalities in uh, characters. However, she just never drove it home towards the end. But she, very endearing character, love her. Uh, uh, number three, Potoli. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, that's the same yeah, with me. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why. My Thank brother. you, Bacon. Thank you. Thank okay. you. I mean, I'm happy with your number two, so, like, we cool. We cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so... We, I can see the future. Yeah. Mirai Zura. Oh, yeah, we caught the... That was the thing. After Umi was the first, like, crush, crush Kotori was the wife. <laughs> 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 this is the weirdest moment oh, no. I've ever heard. No, yeah. not really the wife. She was the girlfriend. She was like the girlfriend oh, that she oh, actually yeah, got. Cool. I know, I know where the wife is now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, which one it. is the mistress? Mistress, then. Ellie. <laughs> Oof. Oh. Eddie ain't no mistress. How dare Number two, Ellie. Mm. And no, she's not a mistress. Thank oh. you. She comes with a package. <laughs> <laughs> she comes as the package. <laughs> but no, Ellie. Uh, real talk. Real talk. Um, beautiful, strong. Um, I know a lot of people didn't like her in the beginning, where she had like that mean dis uh dismeanor type of thing. Like, yeah, I mean, but she had to do it because she's a student con- uh, council president and have to kind of show face. It's like, like okay. we know you're gonna join the group. You're in the opening. And I was like, <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. God. Oh, sorry. Oh. Well, I didn't finish the show. What the fuck? Are you <laughs> <laughs> you're, yeah, you're watching. Yeah. Like you watched the first season of Sunshine. Get the hell out of here. And also, I do like girl with a uh, rockstar ponytail. Mm, mm. I see you are mm. also a man of culture. Thank you. I know Connor was kind of like low on the other list, but yeah, I do love so her it's kind of the... suspect what you just said. Actually, oh. <laughs> I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and number one, of course, uh-huh. as you can see from my profile pic, Nozomi. 
What? I thought that was just a really dark yeah, hair yeah. color version I of Umi. I just thought that was like Kanan or like <laughs> Kanan with like tails. Umi. <laughs> oh, it's probably like really zoomed up then. No, I see. No, they're making fun of you. I see it clearly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just memeing. Yeah. I'm never I know. serious. I know. Screw you. This is me, don't. My, my brother. Good man. I only see it very zoomed up, but yeah. Nozomi, best character ever made. This is actually the reason why I actually like stuck in love life for so long is actually Nozomi. You sound so cheerful saying that. Like, I can't, I, I gotta respect that, man. That's like, right. That's, yeah. He can't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> we, we hear it in his voice. He's... Checkmate. Check... Oh, God. It's like the Idol Master checkmate. <laughs> oh he, he, flips God. The card, he flips the card over. It's the world, though. <gasps> so, <laughs> Nani. Oh, my Lord, Shinderu. He just beats all of us and starts groping us. Oh, God. Oh, He's God. God. Damn. Wait, so then, is Twin Tails higher than Ponytails for you, then? When Tails is higher than Ponytails. Mm. More details. Of culture. Yeah. More Tails, more fun. Can't tell if there's a lot of culture in here or there's very little culture in here. <laughs> there's no we? culture here. Probably the uh, latter. No, no. All right, so should we... Uh... Wait, Wait, I haven't did... given my list. No, no, no. That's what I was going to say. Oh, How dare oh, you oh, cut me oh, off? Oh, my be Mr. Host, man. Okay. <laughs> away, away with you. Wait, Bex is actually number 10 on my list. Uh, <laughs> he's below Honoka. Well, the Bex... really? oh, he's more I'm like this number 21. I no, we all, know, we all know number one is Shitake, okay? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Hey, yo, Shitake, best dog. Actually, I... Shitake is a girl. I did not know that. Wait, really? Yeah. yeah. That's how few guys there are. Even the dog is a guy. Even the yeah. dog is yeah. a girl. I don't doubt that one bit. Are there more guys in K-On or Love Live? That that needs to be in the next part. Oh, that's a really good question. Like top, oh, that's all literally, based literally onto the movie. Literally top 10 questions scientists still can't answer. <laughs> it all comes scientists down to the movie. Scientists hate this question. Oh, hey, mm -hmm. hey, start that. Okay, so... <laughs> All right, Becker, get, get on with your list. Okay, so I haven't watched this show since, like, 2016, so I'm just going to go off um, people who I think I liked the most. So um, from worst, we have Katori, because, you know, Katori is Katori. Um, we have Rin, and then we have Hayano. Honestly, I just hate, like, the, the short-haired girls the most. Why? Like, I don't remember Ooh. any of them. Short hair is good civilization. I don't even know what that fucking means. That's not that so <laughs> I don't even know what that means. It's provocative. It gets the people going. Yeah, we don't know what it means, but I, it's provocative. It's not the first time Absolutely. I heard that like meme today. Is that like that's good civilization? I'm like, wait, what is that? Mean? <laughs> All right, so now I'm at like uh, what like five? No, so you're, at six. you're at six. Six. Six is um. Hmm. Six is probably. He's still Probably putting it together Ellie. on the fly. Ellie. Ooh, and wow. then five is oh. is Umi. Mm. Four is is Maki. Oh, come uh, on. Three is Nico. Two is hey. uh, who am I who am I missing? Oh god, he's putting this together on the fly. And uh Did you say Umi? He said Umi. Umi said Umi is four. I think he's only missing Honoka. Honoka. Oh Honoka, yeah, he's missing oh. Honoka. Isn't Honoka part of like the first years no no second, no, she's year. second, second year. years sorry it's been a while but i'll just put honoka at like five instead and then it move everyone else up wait so Con can't can congratulations okay, Eddie get moved up? okay no you want me to just start over <laughs> fuck i'm so bad at this oh my um God. so we have katori and then we have hayano and then we have rin and then we have honoka and then we have uh Ellie, and then we have Umi, and then we have Maki, and then we have Nico, and then we have Nozomi. Hey, I'm out of culture. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so now there's more culture in this room now. Congrats. Dude, I too. am the culture. To look at me. He I is good culture. <laughs> but dude, the culture will stay to the end. But dude, Becker, you're not even a cutie panther. Like, how do you even say you're mm, a fan yeah. of Love Lie? Oh, I thought you just wanted me on this podcast. I I, I don't dislike Love Live. I just don't love. But do it. you love novels? Do you oh love live? God. Love live? Do I love living? Do you love live? No. Do you love live for Damn. love life? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I, I'm I like scrolling through songs to say do more 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 
puns. Oh, by the way, after school navigators, fuego. I love that. Yes, song. Wait, 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 bacon, oh bacon. When that I was thinking of you last year uh, at Soccer Con, you played that one song in the car. It was like a, it was like a racing song. It was it's spelled it was... After School Navigators. Yeah, After School Navigators. That song I liked. Yeah, I just want to say that, and, that, and, that song was cool. And and during that, you were also listening to My Heart, which is a great song as well. I, I think yeah, like literally heart. his heart. <laughs> like he had. I I just imagined this fi- like vision of like Bex laying his head against your chest, listening Lay to your heart, your as, <laughs> hands on me. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and oh, no man. brand girls. No brand girls is no the brand greatest. girls is good. Oh no brand. Oh girls yeah. Is good. No brand Dude, girls. I, I love when they're doing the live when they're doing their final live. Like Honoko <laughs> almost like lost her lost her voice in that. And yeah, like, freaking Emmy soon. Just keep on going like, Mata Mata! Mata Mata! I'm just like, oh, calm down. Oh, God, you're gonna get pass out. I don't know. Oh, it's, man. Dude. All the like, lives are great. The lives, I mean, I saw that one clip of them, like, getting, like, doing trial runs of the Snow Halation Orange glow stick, like, before the final live. I'm like, this is nuts. Like, you guys are doing rehearsals as oh, fans dude, Have you seen the, the live. Have you seen the video when uh, they did the... Yo, uh, Watanabe Yo, when they did Aquarium and all of Korea, they just did the center aisles and they all yes. they all threw up yes. their sticks in the blue the blue uh, pathway and that made her cry. I was like, dude, Korea, yo, you we guys, get, we know how guys. to do it though. Like, hey. we are on top of our shit. No, we got yes. it. One you day, dude, so. We... So, what are you guys looking forward to in the future of Love Life? Like, let's let's start to wrap this up. We're we're two hours in, and I could keep going, but <laughs> they don't, they don't stop love. coming. Um, we were talking to you, Becker. <laughs> you were talking wow, okay. <laughs> I mean, we do have the Love Life Sunshine movie in the future. Oh, uh, that's mentioned. coming out, yeah. Yeah. Did you guys already talk about the Love Life movie? I don't know. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Okay. Yeah, we talked about New York. Just New York. Just New York. Just New York. It's just and Applebee's. Just talk, about yeah, and Applebee's. <laughs> the world's biggest Applebee's is in New York. Dude, we gotta hit that up. The I need to... Hey, road trip. <laughs> oh yeah, God, that's that's oh that's such a meme, dude. Applebee's is great. Dude, let me no, know Applebee's a place that does bad. I got, a, I got a gift card for Applebee's for Christmas like four years ago, and I still haven't used it because Applebee's is terrible. <laughs> Why would Apple, I ever oh, want to go to Applebee's? Go I can, there for I can have all the appetizers. I can microwave I can my own like, mozzarella sticks, but that's it. Like, dude, <laughs> dude, I can microwave my own stuff at home. No, okay, dude. their uh, buffalo uh, wings are decent. Dude, their spinach and artichoke dip is really good. <laughs> Look, I'm in New York right now. I just want rice. Where's the rice? Where's the rice? Please. To be fair, there is a, there's really good Japanese food here in the city. But I digress. Uh, yeah. And can I just can I just say Zuromaru eating that giant burger on my profile pic? God, get a girl that can I don't do think it's gonna those. fit in the <laughs> you know what else Mirai, is gonna <laughs> what? Bacon, please. I didn't say anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Bacon, I, Bacon, I know you. I know you. Do you? You don't even know Love Life. How dare you? Okay, so. We're just maybe at this point. All I'm looking forward to is the lives, the movie, and, and the I, I, I think, I think Aqua, <laughs> I think Aqua is going to carry the franchise way higher than mm. it is right now. Really? Because, because, like, Muse has how many lives under their belt? Technically, five, four, six, six. six. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, Tommy see, just, no, Tommy exactly. just like flexed on you, man. That's fine. No, that's fine. Because I don't. Obviously, I'm more. I kept up with more uh, Aqua. We're on three this year. I say Aqua like breaks double digits ten because dude, what? I, I, I say keep it, I say keep it going, man. Hey, they do mm. it once a year, so that, it's like so you, so. you think they're gonna do it for like seven more years? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, look, look at dude. Seven I, years ago was twenty eleven. Like what? What is there left? And in, that's like, where it anime started. sphere. That's, that's when it started. Like, that's when they yeah. started, man. Like this is a. I truly think they're gonna take it that far because the. The, the Aqua right now, like, not in a weird way of saying this, but that's young talent. And they're already having an organization behind them. You made them. it weird by yeah. saying it's not weird. Yeah, you made it weird. It was <laughs> not going to be weird in any way by saying young talent. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't sorry. Even know how you would make that weird, but I'm trying to think about it now. And I'm like, I'm, in, I, I'm not getting anything. Okay, like, I'm, in coaching, it, I'm in coaching mode because when I see young talent, I'm just like, God, you're going to be so powerful when you grow up. You know that, right? Oh, don't, yeah. It's going to kind of creepy. Powerful. Don't, Are don't, you like, is this a shonen? Like, don't get manga all of a sudden? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm yelling in my head, don't get injured. And just keep working, and you're gonna be something amazing. I'm like the all Ooh. might. I'm the all might of idols. So okay. Kamba Ruby is going to be <laughs> <Kamba> the box. <laughs> Kamba Ruby. Kamba Ruby no Ippo. 
Combo oh my me. god. <laughs> Oop, Oopy roll. I don't know. I was trying to combine Dempsey roll and some other thing. Okay, but on to you guys. What are you guys looking forward to? I'm looking forward to going through like more of the discography now that I finished it. And listening to more of my playlist of songs that only include Eddie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally have a, like, a playlist on my iTunes called Ellie is Life. And it's 38 songs, 2 hours, 26 minutes of songs that <laughs> only oh, Eddie. Oh my. <laughs> wow, yeah, you, are, you are dedicated. Good. Yeah. I, yeah, no. I respect uh, that. Yeah, so Ellie is great. Yeah. Uh, and like going through that. Yeah, yeah, I, I could tell. That and like I listening tell. to more <laughs> discography, I don't think I'm gonna invest any time in Aqua. Tbh, unless they do more train related songs. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, trains are cool, dude. That's a man who <laughs> knows train. his train fetish. <laughs> Yo, oh, Grail Wars like was it. a great Do, wait, anime. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, do you like god. do you like to get like trains on you or something? Like... Oh my gosh. <laughs> This I'm is just a gonna send you. Like, do you like to run trains? No, but I'm just gonna send you tons of train videos. I, I used to actually say that, like when playing pickup basketball, like oh, oh yo, god, let's... but I had no idea what it meant. I thought it meant like oh, oh like, you let's poor, destroy poor child. these people. Oh. And then like my roommate told me what it meant, and I was like, oh my goodness, you what have so I gay. been saying? You were so gay. <laughs> Yeah, LA. I'm gonna LA ain't train gonna be happy about it. It has ruined Ooh. trains for me. <laughs> it hasn't actually. God. I still love trains. That that is the weirdest story I've heard from you so far, and I've known you for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the weirdest thing actually. I've heard weirder from <laughs> oh, like, you, the time you hung... that he uh, just wandered into a gay bar. Like... Okay, I did not. Okay, so first of all, I was Garden of Gay playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long st- it's actually not i was just hey i was like playing video games with a bunch of friends af- at like a bunch of friends from school and then we went to a bar and they're like hey like hey do you want to join us we're going to go to sweet like another bar i was like oh that's pretty cool like yeah i'll join and they're like are you sure and i was like yeah of course like i'm down like you guys that should have been the sweet first before. warning sign yeah. they're like yeah uh, it has really cheap cheap drinks. I'm like, they're like, have you been to a bar like Sweet before? I'm like, I don't know what kind of bar Sweet is. I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh my god! I should have realized when like all the people I was with are out and gay. Yeah. <laughs> but like that never like registered for me. Like, and I go in and like the bouncer is a drag queen. I was like, oh oh oh, and then I go in and it's just like oh, a bunch of guys with like hitting on each other i was like oh oh ah, did you smash that, it's that bar but the drinks were really cheap and then you look in the right corner you, you see go. me and becker hey what's up wait what why are you dragging me into this what? oh gee i'll drag you anywhere buddy with your assuming ass we're like we're like you know we're like yo and Rico you know yeah we're just there shit. for the music it's yeah, yeah. we're just there for the cheap drinks <laughs> Garden of Gay is playing in the background right now <laughs> oh, God. Taco oh, what God. are you lo- looking forward to Love Live Lies oh, like, what else is there to look forward to Let us know. I mean Aqua. obviously there's like the Sunshine movie that's gonna be good like is it though if, if I it's mean... if it's even yeah. close to the level of what the Muse movie was. It's gonna be good, I think. So they'll go back to New York, is what you're saying. No, they're actually gonna go to like Florida this time, and it'll be oh, sunshine. God, that sounds <laughs> awful. It'll be oh, the sunshine real sunshine state. Oh my gosh, Bex. That's oh genius. my, it's perfect. No, they're not gonna um, keep in the East Coast. Come on. Thank please. God. That's like East the Coast, worst city to go to. Florida's a really Man, sus state. Why? San, 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 San Diego. State. San Diego. <laughs> Oh, sunshine yeah. state they go to seattle dude they should go to seattle that's, th- that's why i said earlier in the episode i was like dude hey we we have the ocean here too great fish Seattle's here. okay 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 real y- talk you know no no seattle's don't you dare it, no, you have no right to seattle's talk about really good you have no right to talk about seattle because you never hung out with me betrayal trust and betrayal you could have hung two. out with me and gordon man I didn't. Hey. I w- first of all, I was busy the times we wanted to meet up. I didn't he wanted to meet up with was. me, actually. He wanted to. Not with you, Bacon. How does no, one, you <laughs> no one wants to go down there. I actually want to hang out with Taku, but I haven't been to Boston in so long. I'm Boston. not in Boston. Wait a minute. 
Wait, Wait I thought you were. No. I thought Taku was Canadian this whole time. I mean, <laughs> I might as well be, because I used to live like 20 minutes south of the border, but don't worry oh, about shit. that. Wait, where are you now? <laughs> yeah, I'm tell, like... Tell the whole world where you are now. <laughs> yeah. I'm, Give specific you're, details. <laughs> you're in New York, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm like a couple hours north of you. So you're what? like upstate okay. New York? Yeah. Okay. All okay. meet up. Meet up when? <laughs> we gotta meet up. Mm, smash. Oh yeah. Okay. We Get gotta talk fate. about idols. Yeah. Mm, mm. I'm like I'm We're like all... 15, I'm like 15 minutes away from Gordon. Oh yeah. Dude, and like, I'm uh... like five hours away from Bacon. Yeah, that's not too long. <laughs> he, you can come up. That's here. a good walk. That's some good I'm... cardio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's like a six hour <laughs> flight from Bacon. I'm on my way right now, Bacon. God, dude, hell yeah, man. <laughs> Okay, uh, where were we? Uh, yeah, Taki, you were saying? Yeah, uh, what, what else is there? I, to I think the other big thing, like, other than Sunshine movie, is, like, uh, uh, like, seeing if, and seeing how Aqua is gonna go, like, more global with their, I don't know, concerts and marketing and all that stuff, with, like, obviously that they were, they performed at AX this year, or last year, I guess, now. Oh, I, I had tickets for that, for having a premium pass, but I didn't go. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I could have seen you there at AX too, but no. <laughs> I was like, "Why am I gonna go to this dumb idol concert?" Oh, like, idols are and so. Who the invited worst. this guy? <laughs> who the hell is this guy? How do you get on the podcast? Can we vote him off the island? Oh. <laughs> Togo, I thought we had an agreement. Oh wait, no. I, I, yeah. I th- then I listed my muse favorites. Okay, that's all. Fair. Bets are off. All, all bets are off. Go back to Idol Girls and Cinderella. Yeah. Uh, yo, I haven't even seen Cinderella. Hello, TV Cinderella. Age. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know where I was going with that. Same. Good. All right, uh, Gordon. Oh, okay. You're gonna, you're gonna buy that Terra Jumbo, huh? You're thinking about it. Huh? No. Well, other than more merchandise, but in the future, I actually am looking forward. Uh, to what Aqua can provide for Dev Worldwide and a hit. Mr. Because they have... Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, they they are going international, and I hope that they reach out to the Western audience. Uh, mm. Kind of come back to AX, please. Mm. I'm going this year, so... Oh, nice. Well, they're, they're not, they're not going to be there this year, just so you know. How do you know? Because uh, you know, they're, Bacon. Their lives are secret their, information. Their lives are going to be at the same time as AX in Japan. No, their lives is actually after Maybe AX. Maybe they'll double life after AX. It'll be double life. Yeah. Oh, oh Jesus. So it is possible. Life is going to be tight. AX. Dude, Dude, live after I'm AX. Not, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> but well, anyways, yeah. I'm real live. Looking... If you do go, that'll be amazing, man. Because I already burnt my travel stuff by going to Japan, so. Hopefully I run into them, which will not happen, obviously. Hopefully I run into you. Hey, I, you know, or Watanabe. Or Shuka. Mm. Like Shuka. Oh, if I, if I saw Saito Shuka, I'd be like, ah, 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 just get a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bummed I can't go to AX this year, TBH. Mm-hmm. I might actually be able to go this year. Oh, Taco, you gotta go. So nice. You gotta go. And then, then Fate ends up there. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, yeah, I so wanted to see you. Oh, that's it, bro. Hey, funny thing about that. <laughs> The, the fist starts flying between who's best girl. Like, yeah. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I, I took some lessons from Gambo Ruby on like how to, <laughs> how to get my guard up. Yeah, you just scream in their face like yeah! Gambo Ruby. <laughs> nah, but okay. also, ooh, you know what I'm looking for? I'm looking forward to going to like a con and like seeing some Love Life fan art and like buying it because there's one poster of like I've seen of like the Love Life girls in the high queue uniforms that was oh, i have seen oh uh, yes that one i forgot the artist damn yeah like that's looked yeah. cool and i like might get that and like i might get some ellie merch maybe uh Dude. like a plushie you're, you're gonna like the conventions because nice. the you're gonna see those you're gonna see the cosplayers which are cool but you're also gonna see those people that are just decked out in love life merchandise like armor like metal oh, oh yeah. yeah like they have those I, cool like a uh, jacket yeah. kind of thing or not jacket but like shirt the, the like they have the jacket and they got the the shield of buttons on their bag and it's all the same girl so if you find an Ellie oh the eta bags yeah. yeah the eta bags mm-hmm. yeah yeah because yeah. those people are insane i'm like Dude, i mean that's so it, much i've money. already regaled listeners about the story of idol master guy <laughs> nice. oh yeah P- pretty much replace that with love live merch and you got it 
That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. So that's yeah. that's gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. All right. So mm-hmm. I don't think I have anything else other than um, who 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 do you think would okay of all the love life girls who do you think would win the fight? Here's a rank. Ellie, Eddie, Eddie. No way. Ellie is strong. Oh, she in a too. fight, strong like Con- Mother Russia. Conan would <laughs> knock her out. She got no. Deep. I gotta no. take it to Conan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, okay, I think the last three standing would be Eddie, Kanan, and Gambo no, Ruby. Because Gambo Ruby would just be like Bob and a Weaving. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I can see that. Dude, no, it's going to be Kanan. So Kanan versus Ellie, 60-40 going Kanan's way. <laughs> oh, like, Taku, by the way, before we lose you, doesn't Daya look like that one girl from Yuki Yuna, the one in the wheelchair? <laughs> <laughs> kind of? <laughs> like, I, as I was watching Love Like Sunshine, I was like, oh, it's the girl from Yuki Yuna who is in the wheelchair. <laughs> oh, my God. The girl who is in the wheelchair. I'm going to put you in a wheelchair. If you don't stop it. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know. I don't talk about it anymore. And this is a great way to end the episode. <laughs> I can't think of a way to end the episode then. Oh, play, play the Play the final song. You didn't song. ask me what I'm excited for. What? The Dojins. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is where we're ending. <laughs> yes, yes. This is where yes. we end. Thank God. Okay. I say hey. 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 And hey. dash. Hey. And dash. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> all right. We're out of here, guys. Keep watching Love Live. Maki's best. <laughs> uh, no. Anyway, best. And thank Go you all for so listening, me. especially to this long pod. Please let us know if you like these long podcasts, and we'll keep doing them. We'll probably just uh, go through timestamps. Sure That's what they usually do. Yeah, that's true. But even if you like, if you get to the end of this, also let us know. Uh, also, please give us your personal ranking of the the mooses and the acors. I don't know what they're. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please do that. Yes, that would be really cool to see. And also, ooh, and also listen to the weekly podcast we have of Violet Evergarden named Week Violet Ever Weekly. Okay, by the time this comes out, it'll probably be over. 